We're not trying to we're not trying to invite strangers in to help with this. No. Um we're very, very much capable and you know, we're adults, so yeah. if we can't figure it out, we'll smash it till we don't need it. Mm-hmm. All right. I've fixed many a PlayStation 2 that way. <laughs> well, that's the only way, right? Once they stop working, it's yes. hammer time. Until it reads the disc. And if it doesn't... Uh, oh, boy. Then you get yourself an Xbox. Yeah, like a regu- like a good guy. Oh. oh. I, I'm a bold liar. I have a PS4, so I can't... I can't pretend that I have a... I have a, an allegiance in these console wars. Yeah, these console wars. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm, 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 I'm freelancing. <laughs> freelancing for either side. Yeah, whatever and, side wants to give me a free console first. Yeah, whichever one has the newest, newest Kirby. You can get at me. Are. Send me your your info, your deets, and we'll we'll hook that up. Yeah, and then I'll say thanks, and that'll probably be the end of the transaction. Yeah. Yeah, that that actually, I just I can confirm that will be the end of the transaction. <laughs> a thank you confirms the end of any transaction. That's true. Yeah. Well, um, we got we got a little news this week. Uh, I got some myself, but yeah. Oh, you, oh, you got some news? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I I'm I just made an Instagram for the for the podcast. Oh fuck yeah, so you did. Grindhouse MC on Instagram. That's us. Rad. That's that's my news right there on Instagram. Yeah, that's the news. So inevitably, some things will go up there at some point in the future. Yeah. Yep. That's your schedule. Uh, the schedule is please follow that and f- we'll figure it out together. Yeah. Like a family. So, so do, what's what's the news you're bringing to the table? Oh, I got a cold. Oh, okay. So if I sound congested on this podcast or you hear sneezing, that's why. You have brought disease into my house. I have. And it's interesting that you're just now upset about it disease. because I, I also have AIDS. Where are they? Where are they? Are They're they in my bloodstream helping out. With the flow. All right. Well, uh, keep them there, please. Mm, well, they're, they they got to come out for fresh air sometime. Get close to me. My God, I uh, I went I went to a cabin in the woods. There was some woods. Mm. You know, what? I actually I heard like a deer grunt in the woods, and I was like, oh fuck. Yeah. Oh, now, fuck. if you had gotten anywhere near that deer, um, apologies for rhyming. You you would have unlocked like some kind of zombie deer thing out of the ground that's gonna come and kill you in the cabin. Yeah, probably. So I uh I I stayed I stayed I just heard the grunt and I was like ooh fuck that gross. At some point I got like a splinter um mm. and then I was in the shower and uh like there was like a blood blister under my skin uh, and I was like well here it is this is the end. <laughs> uh, this is how it starts. Oh, I'm dying. Yeah. Now. Uh, this is how it begins. Oh my god! It's like a little red dot, and so I squeezed it until yeah. I, blood leaked out, and then that seems to be of the end of it. Um, Somebody in Splinter should have tried that. Yeah, instead yeah. of barely getting the splinter out of his finger, just, if not not at all, just squeeze till the blood comes out. That's any doctor will tell you. Yeah, uh, and and if there's anything wrong, you squeeze yourself until blood comes out. Yeah, no matter what, squeezing until blood comes out is the answer. Yeah, um, uh, unless you're shitting. <laughs> Yeah, in that case, uh, probably stop before that point. Yeah, yeah, right before the blood comes out, and like wait an hour. Yeah, um, because if you start to fall out down there, that's mm. you should. I mean, you should go right to the hospital. Apparently, according to my roommate, did you bring something for my cat? In well, your bag? here's the thing about this cat: is that what's that inside of a bag? Let's see what's in there. No matter what's in there. So, well, I hope she finds what she's looking for. Anyway, according to my roommate, after you prolapse once, it's incredibly easy to do it again. I imagine so. I, uh, I, you know those like, those water snakes at the dollar store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That not the because there are you can get dollar store rubber snakes. Yeah. So let's just clarify real quick. We're not talking about actual snakes. No, no, no. We're talking about this weird floppy rubber or latex. I don't even know. Uh, tube that folds inward on itself like a fucking Morbius strip, <laughs> yeah. and it's full of water. Yeah. Um. Look, a picture. You, I know you're picturing like a sex toy right now. Yeah. Well. Yes. It can you, be one. It, so in a pinch. Mm-hmm. Uh, unf- I think they stopped selling them for that very reason. I would imagine. Well, flashlights came out and they probably got priced out of the market. <laughs> well, there's some things a, f- a flashlight can do that a dollar store child's toy cannot. <laughs> And that's the way it should always be. The, uh, regardless, though, they both scare somebody if you, as an adult, whip it out on the bus. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to go down either way. Yeah. Um, Something is. Good I, God. I forgot what we were talking about, so I'm just going to let you know to go to the website, darkroastcult.com. Uh, go there, check out the website, 
listen to the podcast, buy some pins. Um, and I, I mean, if you check out the description to this podcast, because I didn't think to do it beforehand, mm. there's, there's going to be a little discount code, a oh. special discount code. Okay. Uh, I can't tell you what it is right now. Because mm, you don't know yet. Yeah, because I haven't, I just thought of this right now as a thing, a nice thing to do. Yeah. So that'll be in the that'll be down there. Well, um, keep an eye out for that uh, discount code that doesn't exist yet. It will though. God damn it, it will. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you could do that. You could get us on Instagram as well. Now that's a thing. Um, and uh, and um, I mean, yeah. Uh, thanks to Andrew for making the that 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 wonderfully creepy song you just heard. Good on you, Andrew. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the goosebumps. Are you afraid of the dark mishmash? Because that's what I think of when I hear it. Me too. A little bit. I, I like to picture that canoe in the the like blue light, just kind of like rocking up against the dock. The grossest part of the fucking "Are you afraid of the dark?" intro is that leprechaun in the attic. Yeah, it Fuck is. Fuck that thing in his face, oh, and they just with pan to it slowly. And let me tell you. Uh, eight-year-old me probably didn't like that at all. Mm. <laughs> Nor should he. No. No, nah, he's very, very competent and together eight-year-old you. Yeah, I had a good head on my shoulders for an eight-year-old. Yeah, you're not dicking around with no gnomes in any <laughs> attic. Oh, and not even on the ground, to be honest. They're, they're fucking creepy. I don't care. Yeah, no, no. Uh, I'm just going to stay out of Ireland because I don't want to chance it. Yep. Um, so, uh, what movie, what movie did we do? Well, Um, we, at your fucking great behest here, did Tremors 2 this week. Yes, we did. And I, I gotta say just right off the bat, this is a fucking comedy, okay? It's a comedy horror. This is an action comedy. Horror. There, what's horrifying? The monsters are pretty scary. The monsters, you got two options for monsters here, right? You got the um, animatronic, and you got the CGI. Almost all of the animatronic ones get to blown the fuck up. So there's nothing scary about that, because they f- they figured out the secret to those. Yeah. Oh, you just put an RC car, put dynamite on that shit, and they chomp down on that just just because. And then you have... And I, I looked on the trivia page, and I know exactly why this is. Um, Kevin Bacon was supposed to be in this movie, as he was in the first. Oh, yeah. And then he went, nah... More important things. <laughs> I think he did Apollo 13. Like, that's arguably a more important movie than Tremors 2 for some thing people. Thing is, I don't even remember him in, in that fucking movie. No, he's probably like a fucking computer tech or something. He's like the guy at NASA who, uh, when the rocket doesn't explode at, <clears throat> right after it leaves the platform, he just takes his glasses off and looks pensive. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Once we get out of the orbit, it's out of our hands. Like Everybody around is celebrating, but not him. Yeah. He's, just, he's just relieved. My, my, I, I mean, like... See, he could have been there for like two days and then still done Tremors too. It took yeah, it, it took and no vice versa to be quite honest because this movie was shot in like what a week. It they, took like no time at all to shoot this shit. They got it. They got it done. It was supposed to go right to right to VHS tape. Mm-hmm. Actually, laser disc. I think. Laser disc. Laser disc. Oh well, I think we're all grateful that it wasn't on laser disc as a primary platform, right? Because this fucking movie would be in a landfill right now. I own both of them on VHS, one and two. Perfect. They they came in a combo pack. The only one that I, the only um like front cover I remember is three for some reason. It's like they changed the font or something on the actual word tremors, and it looked cooler. Maybe. Anyway, um, good so decisions. Kevin Bacon went nah, fuck that movie. And then they dropped the budget from $17 million to four. Well, they, it was also supposed to have Reba McIntyre in it. And yeah. The, and she went, I'm going to go on tour instead. Mm, I'm going to go make money instead. Puh. Right? Puh. Sell out. It was, it was also supposed to take place in Australia, but the second it, it went from a big budget to a little budget, yeah. they, were, they went, ah, Mexico. <laughs> and then, but if you look real close, like really close, Mexico... Looks an awful lot like Nevada. Mm. You know, I think that you don't even have to look close for, for to agree with that statement. Yeah, when they cut from scene to scene, there really isn't... It's like they went down the block. Yeah. They just brought in Mexican people, and they're like, well, now we're in Mexico. <laughs> they, <laughs> My point is, there's a lot of bad CGI fucking Graboid babies in this there that are. are so bad. And I wrote down here somewhere anyway, uh, there was this old... Um, I believe it was a Goosebumps game for the PC. Okay, okay. About a kid that's obsessed with comic books, and uh, it turns out that the comics he's reading, he gets like sucked into the world as if it's real life. 
So he ends up at a factory where this fucking like uh, superhero exists, and he's got to fight like a slime thing. Anyway, okay. that the game was like a point and click that was unnecessarily difficult for five year olds. Anyway, the graphics are about the same. Jay, this movie was made <laughs> in 1994. Yeah, it was. And then it took two years for them to finally go. Just give it to them. Yeah, what were they doing for two years shelving this? Wait for the demand. They they let it age like a fine wine. Yeah, like like milk. Now, I'm going to ask you to please leave them alone. <laughs> they did their goddamn best. <laughs> those there's nothing wrong with those CG monsters. There's a lot wrong with them. They got some they got a lot of practical ones in there. They do, and that's I I was able to let the crappy crappy posts crap shit shit garbage i've i can make better shit with play-doh cg graboids because of how good the practical ones were that's right it was great i was watching a lot of bloody explosions and i was happy about that those uh walk-in ones the puppets for those guys yeah 16 puppeteers that's way too many the thing's like three feet long and uh you know what it's walking around like it's got 16 opposable joints for sure. Yeah, well, your, your boy fucked up by describing them as animatronics, because I didn't realize that they were they were puppets. Oh, yeah. Well, puppets are hilarious. Would the fucking Kermit the Frog show up later? Um. No. Oh. Well, I appreciate you checking your notes for reference. Um. All right. So this movie starts with, uh, like, a, a pipe worker yeah. in, in Mexico, just shimmy shammying along a pipe. Now... Already I'm mad. What you, what you mad about? Because that pipe is wide enough to stand on and it's, go much more quickly than crawling with it between your legs. Fair like enough. Like you're trying to beat fucking, like, Wipeout. Well, I mean... Like it's an obstacle course. The thing about this this game of Wipeout is that uh, it's a life or death Wipeout. Yeah. And even more similar when he starts hopping a, a, across barrels. I did enjoy how slow he was going, and then, like, Grab Boy just is like, nah, fuck these barrels. And they just, like, yeah. spill them out of the way. Yeah. Not not a problem for that graboid. And and first, I mean, I'm sure he wasn't aware, but these things track by vibrations in the ground and sound. Uh, pretty racist of you to assume a Mexican doesn't know science. Well, I'm, 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 I'm more, I'm assuming that this is a, a new monster to him, since he decided to jump on the loudest things. That yeah, that just happened to be conveniently placed. all over the place yeah. too. Um. But yeah, yeah, so he jumps on the loudest things ever, and guess what? The monster hears it. Yeah, and uh, he goes, oh, what's that sound over there that I want to know all about? It doesn't go so well for him. No, don't. Um, as uh, as uh, <laughs> as uh, Fred Ward, I forget, Earl, his name's Earl in the movie. Earl. He, he describes it as being slurped. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best word, although with that being said, they have quite a long and moist tongue. Yeah. So maybe a little bit more appropriate than I'm willing to admit on that one. Yeah, this monster throws him back like it's nothing. Just, yeah, just right past the the uvula for that. A couple things that yeah, graboids don't have a gag reflex. They must give mad dome. <laughs> They're all dome. They're, <laughs> I want a I want a, a graboid flashlight. I'm that, yeah. that's, that, this is just where we're at now. And it's just yeah, the throat, but then like the fucking tentacles that open and close on the outside, like a dragon dildo. <laughs> Unnecessary accoutrement. It's for uh, somebody. My God. I want to point out a couple of things about this opening scene. Yep. Uh, the the first, the soundtrack in this movie is fucking hilarious. The whole movie. Right? It's so good. It's old, campy. Oh, my God. But this is like the most upbeat music ever right at the very beginning. It's like a, a, I'm, I'm going for a walk to the park on a sunny day and I'm skipping. I don't remember the song. Oh, it's I, neither do I. It's nothing recognizable. It's just super upbeat and happy. And then immediately a man gets eaten by a sandworm. <laughs> yeah. It's probably, it was probably like something playing on the radio oh, in the background or something. Oh, my God. I loved it. And then to that point, uh, when they, because they start off in not Mexico. I don't know where Earl is living in that shitty trailer. Nevada. So he's so they just stayed in Nevada. They didn't even go to Mexico for the movie. No. Um, I, I, I don't believe so. When they drive to... Mexico, they play the most racist mariachi band ass music as they're crossing the border. I, uh, so they that there's another scene where they're listening to the radio and it's on the ground. 
It's the same thing. It's like you pick <laughs> probably the one station in Mexico where it's like, and here's that mariachi thing again. Yeah, we just play the the same quinceanera song yeah. every day for fucking six hours. I did. Uh, yeah, I was like, you, the, come on. There's got to be. The, I'm sure they've got Lincoln Park playing on the, <laughs> the one one station over. Little girls turn sixteen at all hours of the day. We just have to be ready for that. <laughs> Ah, the Quinceanera 24-7 <laughs> station. Thanks for tuning in. Here comes the mariachi band with one more time with, uh, you're 15 and now you're a woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a bit young for that title. <laughs> We're going to ignore how, uh, how, how, uh, unfortunately young that is to be a woman officially by yeah. just <laughs> distracting you with happiness. <laughs> Well, uh, that's life in Perfection Valley, Nevada. My first question is, and you might know the answer because you're well versed in these films. Mm. Uh, how do they do this burrow effect? They got these. They got these graboids swimming under the ground, right underneath a yeah, a very small, a shallow layer of sand and dirt. And I want to know how they make it so that the bump moves and there's like a divot underneath where they've just been. I want to say it's like a, <clears throat> they got like a, a sandbox table and they just drag something underneath with. Okay. Or they, or it's like a, they've got like something under the ground and a truck is pulling it with mm-hmm. the camera. I, All right. I don't know. But um, I do remember seeing some sort of behind the scenes photos as I was looking around. Either way, I don't know if I've seen anything really before or since except for Screamers and then maybe some like Star Wars with the Sarlacc pit. Yeah. It's but like that's a, about all. It's like a live action Bugs Bunny. Yeah, it sure is. Oh yeah. my God. I get right into Looney Tunes in these, in these <laughs> notes I've written. Good. Good. Um, so yeah, we, we c- cut to from dude getting slurped right to, right to Earl trying to He's talking shit to this ostrich. Yeah. Talking mad shit to an ostrich. By the way, ostriches, uh, if you don't know, will fucking kill you. Yeah, they sure and will. And they will not think another thing about it. Ostriches, emus, and cassowaries all have this fun claw on their foot mm-hmm. that they like to stick in you and just just slide it across. Like that Asian guy, the Japanese dude from Human Centipede when he cut his throat. Uh, they like to just do that to your tum tum. Yeah, yeah, and they'll do that, and like it'll be like one of those jumps where they click their heels together, and then they do that. Yeah, and they'll get you in a jaunty way. And their mating dances are also hilarious, but that's its own thing. I found out on the on the topic of emus. This is such a fucking derailment, but go for it. Um, if you lie on your back, right, and you stick your legs in the air, and you do that upside down bicycle thing. Yep, it draws them to you because they're curious. They don't recognize the form. So I saw a video this morning. Of a guy doing that, and then it's like seven of them, and they get real close, like within ten feet, and then he rolls back over, and they immediately all run away, <laughs> like oh, right side up. That's obviously a person. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't realize we were getting close to one of these fucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> another fun fact about ostriches: mm. uh, the ones in this movie that he's trying to make have sex. Yeah, both dudes. Both dudes. Both dudes. I am. He's progressive. He, it he might is. be 1994, but he's ahead of the curve. Although uh, forcing them to procreate and to make children, yeah. uh, that's a good point. I don't that that's you're just banging two hats together to, <laughs> to make a smaller hat that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you put both of your index fingers up and you hit them together and you go, doesn't work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's uh, the office. It's um, yes, it is. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, but yeah, no, I mean. It's what he's trying to do is beautiful, but yeah, when he's like, "You're gonna make me little birds," no, they're probably not going to do that. I mean, technically, there are little birds in semen, in bird semen. Okay, I'll, so I'll give you that. I'll give either you way, that. at least one of them is gonna make little birds. Yeah, you just can't really do anything with them but flush them down but- the toilet, probably. Ha, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you probably shouldn't be catching them. To transport to a toilet, maybe just let it hit the ground. <laughs> if you're near, if you're close by to birds doing that, don't just let them finish. Sometimes when my cat throws up, she'll try and eat it after. Ah, I would be concerned about that. About birds eating their own semen. Yeah. Well, look, I'm not going to tell you what to be concerned with, <laughs> but the world's a big place, and there are there's a lot more scary things. <laughs> Fair enough. There's wars. Oh, there are. There are wars, and ostriches, they might eat their own semen. Who knows? Yeah. They don't give a shit. Imagine it being your job to make ostriches fuck each other. Bad job. You went from saving the world from these these worms that have no problem eating several people at once, probably. And now you, you wrangle ostriches, and you yeah. make them bang. 
for a petting zoo. Um, actually, when he goes into his cabin, it's mm. it's, a, it's a little more grisly. Mm. There's just ostrich eggs that have been tapped all over the counter. Oh, so he's eating the shit out of these. <laughs> oh things. yeah, like you're gonna make me some baby birds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. The fun thing is, like, he opens his fridge and then there's just regular eggs in there too. So, oh, he, so he doesn't even need the ostrich. No, eggs. no, but he's he's choosing to take yeah. them. He's got the munchies one night and he goes ostriches instead. The yeah. eggs are bigger. Yeah, he, he, he's hit hard times. Like, he's opened the fridge, there's nothing in there. Looks out the window and just sees two eggs in there. He's like, all right. What is it with people on farmland keeping weird animals as pets? Ostriches, alpacas, I don't Nick, know. Cage. <laughs> Go feed the alpacas. Why? <laughs> oh my God. Why don't we just let it die? So he's wrangling these fucking ostriches, dear God. Mm. And a cab just fucking rocks up yeah, with a does. big, fat Wayne Newton advertisement on the top of it. Oh, yeah. Because we're definitely in Nevada because that's a Vegas cab right there. Oh, yeah. So he must, it's got to be a, maybe a, a large stone throw away yeah. at least. So wherever he is, uh, wherever this Perfection Valley is, mm. real close to Nevada. It's, it's also... Or, or uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. It's in Nevada. I'm it's got to be real close to it, but also nowhere near it because mm. the... Vegas is like the most imperfect place on earth. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing good about Vegas. You go there to be disgusting, and then you leave when you're done. Now, I don't know the backstory on these worms, aside from it being explained in this movie that they're dinosaurs. That you, that's that's the backstory. That's it. That's that's You don't learn any of that in the first movie. And nobody had a problem until, fucking, until John Wayne 1994 shows up and is like, I can solve this for you. That's correct. Oh, okay. I, I, think, I think in the first movie there's... There's mining or something. Okay. Well, that... Okay. And then in this one, it's fracking, because it's a goddamn... It's fucking oil. The fourth movie takes place in the 1800s as well. Ah, oh, I hate when they do that. I know, but it's, it's still got Bert as one of his ancestors in it. <laughs> I'll tell you something fucked up about Bert. I love Bert. Okay. Now, that motherfucker's name, and obviously I haven't watched enough Tremors because I didn't recognize him right away. Anyway, it doesn't matter what his name is. He's a, a character in Parks and Recreation as well. Is he? Yeah, he's. Um, there's an episode where all of the old directors of the parks department are are forced to come together to mm -hmm. make a catalog. Yeah, and he's the one who keeps talking about weed the whole time. I love it, and how it should be legal because it's a plant that grows in the ground. That's hilarious. And it's like, hang on, let's spark one up real quick. And I, I'll tell you how I recognized him: his big old nose. <laughs> I saw that nose, and I was like, I remember you right now. Oh, my God. Speaking of noses, I, I was watching Stranger Things last night, and uh, I just saw the profile of a guy and with a big nose. I'm like, oh, well, that's Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Turns around, ah, oh, well, there he I is. No problem recognizing him as Freddy Krueger. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even burn victim or not, Yeah, you, re you recognize that profile. In fairness, he looks very similar, regardless how burnt his face is. <laughs> You're not wrong. He wouldn't have any problems. So skin graft? Nah, I look the same. <laughs> just I'll just glue the hair on. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So this cab shows up, and um, and I need to emphasize this point. The most annoying person in this movie exits the taxi. Yeah. And his fucking name is Grady. Mm -hmm. And he's so irritating for most of this movie. Right away... He does that fucking thing, and this is where I got into Looney Tunes, where uh, Earl is the big dog named Spike, and Grady is the tiny dog that's always, like, jumping around his yeah. legs. Like, what are we going to get up to today, Spike? I have so much energy, despite the fact I don't do meth. Mm -mm. Well, he, fuck, he fucking loves them. Fucking over-enthusiastic. And also, for all of his fangirling over these two guys and the graboids they've killed... He doesn't care for Bert all that much, does he, later on? No, no. I he think finds himself quite annoyed by, by I, Bert. I, I feel like he's a little jealous. He's yeah. Like, what do you need Bert for? You got me. And it's like, ha, ha, that's why I need Bert. Yeah. I mean, did you see what Bert brought to the table? You can't even stay in the truck and off the ground for 30 minutes. Exactly. When, when shit's going tough, you bring in Bert. Yeah, you do. And he comes with the business, doesn't oh, he? Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he brought... Uh, Everything. Yeah. He literally brought it all. Every conceivable. He brought the fucking entire Ukraine army arsenal with him. Yeah, I wrote the uh, the cab driver is A, too talkative, B, yeah. too invested, C, too young, blank. Um, I I don't know why I just did D. D was a was Oh, uh, you couldn't come up with a third one, probably. Well, E is driving gloves. Oh. Yeah, he did have driving gloves on, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Ooh. And for somebody 
who is wearing driving gloves. Like he's n- he's never heard of the concept of rock paper scissors. No, this was introduced to him that day. Oh my god, how do you get to be like in your what appears to be late twenties without having ever played rock paper scissors? A, a, it's, it's a sheltered life in Las Vegas to the point where fucking Earl goes. What does he say? Fucking some some wrong ass thing about the rules of rock paper scissors. I I think he uh he tricks him the one time because he wants to be the hero. So he's like yeah. yeah yeah rock rips through paper. That's what it is. Yeah yeah. And you just believe that you just go with that. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, he just fucking loves Earl so much he trusted him. I mean, the mo- movie wouldn't have ended so cool. I think <laughs> I, I I I think he really did it. He should have. The movie ended so wholesome. It did. It just, <laughs> fucking, we're walking off into the sunset with our arms interlocked. So yeah, uh, so this cab driver rolls up, he brings, uh, it's like a government official Mm -hmm. who offers him $50,000 per worm if he wants to come to Mexico and and blow up these worms. Now, have you seen uh, the new Batman? I have. Um, Do you remember what, uh, I'm going to butcher his name, but the head mob guy, do you remember what he looked like? Uh, Maroney, I think is his name. Uh, this, This man, this entrepreneur... Is like the poor man's, and his name's John Turturro. I thought it was him at first. I was like, oh shit, is that John T? Because he's in a bunch of stuff that I like. Mm-hmm. He's in fucking The Big Lebowski. He's the we'll cut off your Johnson guy. Oh shit, okay, okay. So, and uh, once again, by nose, I was like, oh, that looks like the same. But no, uh, those are two very different uh, people. Yes, they are. Okay, all right. Well, But uh, I believe they're both Spanish. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good for everybody. I got that much right. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> um, yeah. So and 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 he's he's not interested in in this, even though he's living in a trailer that has a fridge with wallpaper on it. <laughs> uh, he's like, nah, I'm good with like this trailer with this one like. Cr- it's so creepy when people pin up pictures yeah. of ladies in bikinis. And he makes it worse by being like, I've basically been chasing this woman for my entire life. Yeah, it's fucking it's creepy mm-hmm. it's it's even weirder when it's in like in a in, in like a uh a, a trail like in a trailer a, a garage like a where you take your car to get fixed yeah it's like what are dudes just sitting there like boners just like fuck yeah look at this calendar bro my, my uncle used to fix up motorbikes and uh that's it was basically wallpapering the whole garage but it was straight up porn it was like playboy well, that's cutouts neat. that's neat and uh yeah nothing made a 12 year old more uncomfortable than that Ah, yes. The wall of shame. <laughs> uh, but you're so proud. But anyway, <laughs> Earl's got this fucking pinup the size of a highway billboard right in his living room. Like, it's the first thing you see it. Yeah, like, right after you notice the squalor. Yeah, you're like, oh, oh, is this what you're jerking off to in the living room? Yeah, things make sense now. Yeah. I know you put, like, one of those throw blankets on this couch, but I'll stand. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to know what this thing's been thrown uh. off to do. Uh, yeah, that, that's seriously just, that's a, that's a bedroom thing. If you're going to do it, bedroom. Yeah. And keep that door shut. Yeah. The com- company's not looking to see that shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this cab driver, uh, he convinces him somehow. I think he's just like, look at your life. <laughs> look at your life. Are you life. sure don't, you don't want this money? <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't risking death be a <laughs> lot better than trying to get two male ostriches to fucking procreate? It doesn't. Now. He was very adamantly against this idea. Um, and then I don't really know what happened to change his mind, aside from more money. Well, I, I think he, I, I literally think he was just like, look at, yeah. look. Oh, if you want to keep just living like this for the rest of your life. It smells in here like outside. <laughs> that shouldn't be. You have ostriches fucking. <laughs> don't you want your life to be a little better? <laughs> Um, and then yeah, get so a phone. That's all it took. And then he's like, "Yeah, I'm in. Let's go." Yeah. And then off to down the block they go, <laughs> right to Mexico, um, where it looks exactly the fucking same. Yeah, weird, Oddly. right? Yeah, deserts are deserts. Who deserts knew? Deserts are deserts are deserts. Yeah. I think we're being desertist, but <laughs> we're being desertist. Desertist. That's treason. You'll get to jail for that. That's uh, sometimes it's Alamode. Which is, is with ice cream. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So, yeah, he, he uh, they rock, paper, scissors for the soda. Mm-hmm. And this is like the first time this cab driver's ever played rock, paper, scissors in his life. He's got no fucking idea. I don't I don't know how you how you live your life in the 90s without doing that once. Let me tell you, though, um, good on him for not knowing the rules. 
because even if I did know the rules, um, I would deliberately have lost when the option on the table is Shasta. Like, we couldn't afford a Pepsi sponsorship. Oh, no. They stopped at the Dollar Tree on the way, <laughs> on the way to the a, road trip. And they got a fucking Shasta. George Carlin has a joke about how uh, really seedy motels where strippers go to fuck their clients, that's the only thing in the vending machine at 2 a.m. <laughs> no, nothing but Dr. Pibb and Diet Shasta Orange. <laughs> Those are all of the worst things you could get at the Dollar Tree. You just you just like ruined an entire shelf at the Dollar Tree. Well, where is this fucking guy getting Shasta from in Nevada? In in the I guess it's the '90s, so it makes more sense. Oh, it's, it's probably a nickel for a six pack or something I, like that. I would hope they got muscled out of the market by like drinks that actually taste like things. Oh, you're never gonna get rid of Shasta. It's oh, a whole, no? it's a whole mountain. It's RC Cola all over again. Oh, it's it's bigger. Mount Shasta. Where is that? And what is that? I don't know. I just know I because I thought it was like oh they're trying to it's Shasta they're trying to knock off Mountain Dew, but there's literally a Mount Shasta. <laughs> well, you learn something new every day. I don't know shit about mountains that aren't Alps. Well, uh, look if you if you need mountain related information, come to me. Yeah, I don't know Alps, so I'll be I'll trade you. Mountain oh, facts. sick! You could tell me about Everest at K two, and I'll just tell you about Switzerland. Boom! You nice. Got it. Yeah, you can get chocolate at the base. Yuck! <laughs> All right, so um, <clears throat> he gets to they they get to Mexico. Lo and behold, there yeah. wasn't there wasn't much hassle in the nineties. Yeah, as soon okay, as, we're in Mexico now. Yeah, as soon as that's... they cross the border, the radio stations turn to to that, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and it's just like they just breeze in. Uh, no no passports needed. Mm-hmm. Just living well, life. yes, it is the nineties. Life before nine eleven was oh, it was something else. It was a lot easier. You know how few metal detectors I walked through before nine eleven. Ex- yeah, I can't remember a see. I don't think I've even seen one in yeah. real life until nine eleven happened. No, maybe if you lived in like a shitty part of East LA and the schools had one because the guns. Maybe you're on the beach and some guy's looking for yeah, looking for stuff. But if he if he tries to X-ray your body with that thing, I would probably I'd, I'd recommend like throwing sand in his face or something. Yeah, because that's too and- close for a weirdo with a metal detector to be to me yeah also if you find metal in my body i'm gonna you can't have it no that's, that's my metal not only can you not have it don't bother telling me what it is because i'd rather not know yeah, boop, 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 boop. that's yeah. iron it's iron steel oh good what well, the fucking is the alien implant ah yes you, probably you, you're just detecting all the iron in my blood yes <laughs> um, i'm the exact opposite of anemic <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta say it like a threat oh christ um but yeah, yeah, okay, so they get to Mexico, and this, there's, like, a geologist who's still there for some fucking reason. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, six people have died, but ge- geology's got to get done. <laughs> I'm, I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> Ain't nobody good at geology but me. If somebody told me that six people had died and you stuck around, I would assume you killed them. Do you know what? Yeah. Yeah, that, hmm. that's that's a solid fact I didn't think about. Oh, how did they die? Knives? Gigantic worms uh, that took their bodies away. Oh, hmm. thus removing any evidence hmm. from the scene of the crime. Hmm. Kate. So if we look in the ground and we find dead bodies, we shouldn't be suspicious. No. Hmm. No, no, it's the it's the it's the graboids. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So they get there and they explain the plan. It's like, hey, we're the bait. Yeah. Uh, around this time, at some point, the um, the entrepreneur whose name is Ortega, I believe, probably, um, in a spectacular version of um, example, rather of burying the lead, goes, "Oh, by the way, I know I offered fifty grand for you to blow these up, but if you keep one alive, I'll give you even more money." Oh yeah, and you know the greed. Yeah. Although I would say that uh, Earl was pretty pissed. About the idea of keeping one alive, like I'm here for one purpose, and this purpose is the one you called me in here for. I, nah, though, I, I don't, you want me to half-ass the job? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with just getting the fifty grand. That's a lot of money. Yeah, and apparently there's fucking thirty of these things, so that's tons of money. I, I did, I was a, little, I did have a problem with how they kind of just like assumed a, some numbers. They were like, yeah, I've seen about thirty of them on the monitor. They all look the same, but yeah. I counted thirty different flips. <laughs> <It's, laughs> 30 different red ovals. Red ovals that look exactly the same as Bert's truck when he rolls up. <laughs> I didn't what even a great machine that. you've invented. Oh, it just recognizes loud things nearby. And and then shapes them into a worm. <laughs> this machine, this high-tech fucking machine is worse than my ears. <laughs> 
Well, it's 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 a worm visualizer. It uh, yeah, I guess we didn't really explain. It. It's just like a sonar machine. They're they some some yeah. guy uh, shows up and they he's like, they don't even know how the fuck to like. They don't even know what name to call it. Right. He calls it like a fucking Stetha jigger. <laughs> Yeah, well, the the Julio, the guy who sets it up, has a name for it for sure. Um, yeah, but yeah, if he dies, so who gives a shit? <laughs> who gives a fuck what you call it? Because nobody's gonna be no. correcting you. How's your patent? Oh, you didn't get one because you're in Mexico. Ah, it's whatever I call it now. He, exactly, I invented this worm, <laughs> this worm visualizer. Just call me Thomas Edison, because I'm stealing your idea. Mm, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. That's a fact that Thomas Edison. Did he did he? He's done, a he real douchebag. He is. I forget what happens in between that and just the montage of explosions. At one point, um, it's after dinner, and uh, it's Kate and Earl speaking about the quality of the dinner. Yes. And she goes, how'd you like those burritos? And really, all he does is give her a look, and then she apologizes. <laughs> oh, so we're not going to mention the diarrhea you gave me. <laughs> I'm just going to look at you and make sure that you know in your heart oh. that I had diarrhea half an hour ago. <laughs> that smell it's still me <laughs> still me i didn't bring enough underwear for this excursion i thought i'd flushed it but it's it's still hot on my tail <laughs> uh, i didn't i didn't pick up on that on that look of i had diarrhea but i do remember being like yeah sorry the guy's dead so yeah. this is what we got yeah, whoops and then um I noted here that kate looks like you remember uh dan marino's mom in ace ventura laces out I think so, With yeah. The, she got the football cookies? Yeah, yep. This woman looks like her daughter. Okay, okay. And so there, I wanted to look it up and I forgot to, but it would be interesting if that were the case. And then Grady shows up with a level of enthusiasm that once again can only be attributed to methamphetamine use. <laughs> With what a meth head would have, which is just a chain with a bunch of cans attached to it. Like, yeah, I... we need this. <laughs> Look at what I found and dragged through the desert. Yeah. And he's like fumbling all around with it. And it's like fucking the clumsiest thing ever. Oh, my God. That chain end up, ends up hindering them more than it ends up helping it's them. The most drug addicted version of uh, just married bumper. Yeah. Well, like when you say it like that, <laughs> like when you say like, yeah, when you put it together. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. He's a cab driver. Maybe he needs the meth to stay awake. Oh, if you're working fucking late night, it's nothing but like hookers and weirdos in Vegas that you're driving around. You got to do something. It's going to happen. That's, I think that's it's 24 seven that I don't, <laughs> then, think it, I don't think it stops. Then I bet you he gets offered meth at least once a day. Oh, well, he obviously takes it. Yeah. Uh, from what we can tell. Uh, I mean, if it hadn't been the chain, it would have been a mattress that he found. Yeah. He dragged, look, guys, look. We'll, we'll drag this behind the truck. <laughs> I, I gotta get the blood stains off. Just gonna, I'm gonna run as fast as the truck. <laughs> Just behind it with a mattress. Um, yeah, yeah. So they, uh, he fucking makes this goddamn chain. They go out there and, um,. And then this fucking montage of just things exploding yeah. begins. He calls it a seismajigger. I found it in my notes yes. here. Which is uh, one letter away from being a racist term. Uh, Grady points out the fact that um, Earl shaved once he realized yes, that Kate's he hot. Apparently shaving is the international symbol of like, let's fuck. Yeah. I, I want to look nice for this. And this is the problem, right? He shaved for, when you see Kate, she shows that she's got a cowboy hat on. And she's got like yeah. hardcore oh, yeah. cowgirl jeans. You shave for like the dirtiest person. The person who would the least likely want a shaven man. Yeah. She wants hairy dudes. <laughs> for sure she does. Oh my God. Because way manlier looking. It, it, if you're a you're cowgirl. Not wrong. You're really not wrong. That's... So he got rid of his fucking five o'clock shadow, and she'll probably just be like, "What are you, twelve? Yeah. Oh, oh. Where, where, who's this young boy in front yeah, of me? Grow a fucking beard. Yeah. He really needs to learn read his... the room. Yeah. Read the room <laughs> of people he's trying to have sex with. Yeah. Um. At, at one point, like Grady's like, "Hey, what's going on? You look really nervous." And he's like, "I'm not nervous. I'm alert." That's what <laughs> Earl's response was, and it's like, "That's true. It's I like a... I'm not nervous. I'm just alert all the fucking time. <laughs> I'm not nervous." This phone's nervous. <laughs> um, as they're driving uh, right before this explosion montage, uh, you can always tell in movies, and once again, we bring it back to Ace Ventura in my fucking head, but when the off-roading is fake 
and it's just two grown men bouncing around in the fucking cab of a truck because the ground's flat. Yeah, that's yeah. peak <laughs> acting. That's the hardest acting ever. It is. That's it's all legs. It's yeah, all, it's all calves and like hovering above the seat. Okay, for this scene, pretend the road's bumpy. All right. Oh, I can't. Oh, even, I just did. I did one bump <laughs> and I'm winded. Throw your back out, just I, pretending <laughs> to do something that's like hardcore. I, I lifted my ass two inches off the seat, and uh, <laughs> I'm having trouble catching my breath right now. <laughs> oh shit. Um. So yeah, the first they get that first worm, and then like you see Earl throw his umbrella up. Mm-hmm. I don't know why Grady immediately wasn't like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, we should probably hit with the umbrella that you gave me because I wouldn't come with an umbrella because we're in Nevada. Exactly. Uh, I, I see how I see how you're very alert yeah. doing this thing. I'm going to do the same thing. That would be my immediate reaction. Like, oh, umbrella? Umbrella. Yeah. Sure. Clear, clearly, this serves a use. Now, Earl's umbrella is the most effeminate Japanese girl umbrella ever. Well, they probably were on a, on a tight budget here. They had to find <laughs> an umbrella in such short notice in Mexico. <laughs> So they they probably did what, what they could. it's like pink with apricots on it. Well, they they got it from the the military. <laughs> it's what the military provided them with. Yeah, the Mexican military is real up on the. Uh, they were like, "Oh, you need umbrellas? I just borrow them. my daughters." <laughs> yeah. Oh, your baby's afraid of getting wet. <laughs> my daughter's got a. It's <laughs> got a sick umbrella. Oh God! And then there's just this fucking explosion montage. Mm-hmm. Where nobody's wearing hearing protection. That's and, a good point. And it's literally just dirt flying around with, I guess, maybe a little bit of fake guts in it. Yeah. One worm is particularly just liquid. Yeah, I noticed that. There was one worm that was goo. Yeah, just all goo. The rest are just like, kapoof, and yeah. just dirt flying everywhere. Now, at no point during this montage do they go, hey, let's get into the truck with the roof. Yeah, no, no. They're like, we got to be out in the muck. Yeah. <laughs> We gotta get into the nitty here. Otherwise, we're not gonna earn our 50K. Yep, yep. Um, and then yeah, he makes Grady clean off the antenna where there's just clearly like half of a piece of salmon just yeah. hanging off of it. And the idiot leaves the fucking radio on the ground. Yes. Like an idiot. And there's th- one rule out here with this fucking, with these graboids. Yeah. One. Yeah. Stay off the ground. It's not that hard of a rule to follow. He disobeys this rule like he's getting a bonus from Ortega for for doing it. Well, he he, he didn't know rock, paper, scissors. He's clearly never played the floor as lava. Yeah. So what the fuck? And so he just, he had a horrible childhood. He picked the worst partner for yeah. this worm hunt. Well, Earl didn't really pick him, did he? No. I, he, he sort of he sort of forced himself on Earl. Yeah, he really was just like, I'm, I'm on it too. I'm coming. <laughs> Not on this trip, you're not. Whether you like it or not, Earl, I'm coming and you'll be there. <laughs> you'll be holding my hand the whole time. <laughs> I'm coming in the truck. And then we'll be there. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And then he forgets the red. Um, oh, yeah. There's also a scene with the coyote. Oh, a coyote. They're like sleeping outside and they get woken up by a coyote. Mm. And he's like, oh, man, doesn't he know to be quiet? And then you just hear the coyote go. <laughs> And there's just no more coyote. Well, if you didn't know before, he's never going to know anything again. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. He's like, yeah, that thing better keep quiet. And then you just audibly hear it just being yeah. slurped. <laughs> we're just going to keep calling it being slurped, eh? Hey, uh, it's a technical term. I'm getting tongued out if we're if, in the desert. If we're going to call them graboids. Yeah. And if we're going to call them shriekers, we're going to use the technical terminology. <sighs> Fine. They get they getting slurped in that desert. Fine. It's in groups. Yeah, group plenty, slurps. plenty of slurping going on. Group slurps with very little discretion. Um, but yeah, so that that room, the worm takes the the radio, and then immediately it becomes like the white whale. Where yeah, you, you, you like hear it coming because you can hear that yeah. awful mariachi music oh that's been God. playing for hours. Yeah, it's the same song that was playing when it ate the thing. It's the same song hours later. That's a hundred percent true. It's just a loop of and it's like ah. <laughs> Again, so racist yeah. song you pick. Well, the, the, this I, this is my best impression of the actual song. Yeah. I'm trying my it's, best to not be racist. But yeah, it's not. That's the song. It's not racist if it's accurate to the source material. Yes. And the source material is racist. Unfortunately, it is. Again, go one station over, and they probably got yeah. like av- the. Uh, uh, no, I was, I was going to say Avril Lavigne, but that's way before the time. Um,. So was Lincoln Park. That shit came out like 2001. Oh, well, who's some... Oh, well, obviously... Spice Girls. Spin Doctors. Sure. 
Beastie Boys. Two princes. And you're going to tell me that that worm didn't fucking, like, with his undulating esophageal stomach, flick that dial just by mistake or something? Right. No, no. Uh, apparently those batteries are real good, too. Yeah. And, yeah, stomach acid does nothing. This is the fucking best radio. <laughs> this is a space radio. Yeah, I don't... How did everybody die and the radio is just fine? Yeah. And, like, playing so loud through these, the guts in the ground. You can... Yeah, you can hear it. Listen, mm. if you bury my head in the sand and I yell, you're not going to hear shit. Uh, well, uh... You better be playing some mariachi music yeah. if you're ever buried alive. That's it. I'm just going to carry a CD Walkman with that one song playing forever in the event I go anywhere dangerous. That's, that's, that's for the best. And it's, like ever... a, it's like a rape whistle. <laughs> <laughs> well, in this, it kind of, I mean, sort of. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you ever need me, just call, play that song. I'll be there. You know, it's like the bat signal. You're just going to know. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, they're sitting in the truck and they, they're driving along with this, this meth chain Yeah, and they hear the mariachi music coming again. And they're like, Oh, where is it? Where is it? Ends up taking the chain in its mouth yep. and pulling the truck along. Like mm -hmm. knew it was going to happen. Here's the thing guys. And I wrote down, I can't dispute the logic in this movie because it's a fucking comedy, but I'm going to damn sure try. Oh boy. I have seen so many videos of people trying to pull trucks out of mud by the bumper and it taking no time at all for that bumper to just come right off of there. Well, that's clearly not an American made truck. As per the quality of this truck uh, that I could see with my eyes as they were driving into Mexico, I, that bumper would come off with like a light breeze. Well, look, listen, as somebody who used to weld truck bumpers, yeah. look at me. That's why the truck bumpers come. <laughs> they, they, they had me do it. You did a fantastic job that I, day. I learned to do it in 75, or not even, 45 minutes. Perfect. 45 minutes of, like, practicing. That's, se mall security guards need more training than that. They do. Um, and they're not determining, like, the structural integrity of a vehicle people are driving. Nope. Uh, so be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Flying down the highway, be careful. Watch your fucking self. Yeah. Matt might have done your car. Don't Well, I mean, that or don't follow too closely behind a truck. Yeah. Because shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did do... I, I, I did that. So. You did a job I, as to its quality. I showed up to my job, and I definitely had a... A, a, like a, a a gun that shot lasers and put metal on different metals. Mm -hmm. um, as you can tell, very technical terms here. Using I'm clearly, your 45 minutes of training, uh, putting it to good use here with yeah. your descriptions. Like, I would have said 75, but honestly, it didn't take me that fucking long to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is really not good because I was not trying. Yeah. Um, I didn't want the job. Mm -hmm. Figured I'd do it poorly enough. The p I won't have to do it. Yeah. So the bar for putting cars together that go upwards of 100 kilometers an hour is uh, fail upward. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Um, yeah, no application to that job. You just, you just kind of show up. Mm -hmm. And you go, I'm capable of using my hands without having to blink too much. Yep, they, and they, they go, here's wage. That's, uh, that's exactly the job. <laughs> Wow, have you had that job too? You know, I, it's weird. I don't want to say where it was or who mm -hmm. it was with, but I, I, you must have had that job too. It's really funny. I did at a different in a different uh, for a different company. Mm. I, I drove past that uh, place the other day actually, and I was like, ah, yep, yeah, I remember that title. I remember that name of a company from when Matt described it. Yeah. Blech. Mm -hmm. uh, the, my other issue with this uh, chain dragging scene is you have a uh, an assault rifle. A yeah. fully automatic assault rifle mounted to the rear window of your truck. Just shoot the chain. Well, yeah, he does open fire. I don't I don't think it occurred to him to actually shoot at the chain because I also thought that, like, why didn't you shoot the chain? Now, chain, the chain's not moving. The yeah. chain's in one spot. You could just shoot where the fucking, it's attached to the whatever hitch thing, probably. Yeah. yeah. Because that's a that's a fixed point. It'd probably, I don't care how bumpy it is. It's probably easy to hit. You're right there. Do it point blank. Yeah, no, no, uh, shoot the worm. Yeah, we're going to shoot the worm through dirt. And like, this all takes place at probably the fucking worst time, because yeah, that's when that mariachi music starts up again. <laughs> it, it, it like starts up on a loop as soon as they start dragging. Mm -hmm. So that's the music they get to think they're going to die to. I, a, I jump off the truck. It's not, <laughs> that's it. That's fine. Eat me. Yep. As long as I don't have to hear that. Well, if you're inside him, you would have to hear it even louder I in your ear. Just turn it off. Just oh, you could. You could just reach <laughs> over and do that. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, everyone. Um, and then, yeah, at some point, 
later, after Bert comes in, because they call Bert, because the job just can't be done without Bert. No, and I mean, it, it turns out to be quite true. Mm. And, uh, and, th- and and eventually he just becomes the main character of the movie. <laughs> uh, and from there forth, because I don't think uh, Fred Ward, yeah. well, he's certainly not in any of them anymore, because <laughs> he's dead. Oh! <laughs> he died like... <laughs> He died like two or three weeks ago. <laughs> so he's certainly not in these movies anymore, but... I didn't know he was dead. Yeah. Whoops. Well, he was old as fuck in this movie, so it makes sense. Yeah. He looks like the Marlboro Man. He looks like he's been... He looks and sounds like he's been eating cigarettes for 30 years. Well, he, he looks like what you think a cowboy looks like. Yeah, that's true. That's... When I picture... Cowboys, I picture Clint Eastwood and, and this guy. Dudes who had cystic acne when they were 20, and now they just have those, like, holes in their face. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. forever. And uh, denim everything. Denim everything for sure. Denim everything all day denim. It's basically, Fred Ward is basically a Wrangler jeans ad in this movie. Oh, God. R.I.P. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and then these, these fucking monsters dragging them around. Dragging around with mm-hmm. this fucking chain. You're like, fuck it, we need Bert for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And then it ends up dry- dragging him over a rock, yeah. which is so conveniently shaped like a ramp. Yeah, it is. I, I was thinking the truck was going to like do a flip. It would have been much cooler. But yeah, no, it just com- comes to a nice stop as the chain snaps on the rock. Mm-hmm. How convenient. And, and yeah, they're just like, we need Bert because Bert's going to make this better. Yeah. Bert's going to fix our woes here. Yeah, and uh, Bert takes advantage of the Mexican government by asking for way too much. <laughs> yeah, he comes, he shows up and just like, hey, listen, I, these these gravoids, it seems to be really just one oil field that they've, they're centralized on. They don't really explore outside too much. So I would like enough explosives to blow up Mexico. <laughs> Let's remove the oil field from the equation. Yeah, we're just going to make it an oil puddle the size of your country. <laughs> I'm uh, mad about, uh, because that's, when they get stuck on that rock, that's what, that was the first time I think where I I started to get pissed at Grady for getting out of the truck and standing on the fucking ground, Mm -hmm. because they even go, like, find a rock to stand on. Yeah. They just say that line. They do, yeah. And there's one right there. No, no. Nah, fuck that shit, though. Not today. Today I dance on the dirt. (laughs) Yeah, they, he makes a point of being like, yeah, there's ain't, there's nowhere to hide, there's no place, no rocks to climb up mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah. So the, uh, they call in Bert. Bert's like, hey, don't look in the back. So yeah. Grady immediately, like a meth head, just <laughs> oh. rummaging through the back. Things I can sell? <laughs> I, I All meth heads sound like Mickey Mouse to me. I'm That's sorry. That's funny. It makes sense. Uh, uh, yeah. And so, you know, Bert there with his. I would go Tasmanian devil myself. Okay. <laughs> That's a meth head. All right, yeah, yeah, a lot of spit. <laughs> I imagine they have a lot of spit going on. Yeah, and they're gibberish. Talking, they're talking fast. Uh, Bert's got his, like, uh, it's it's a tank. It's a tank shell is, yeah. what, is what he's got in the back. Mm-hmm. Heavy uh, artillery, we'll call it. Yeah, uh, the Mexican government didn't supply him with a tank. <laughs> so why did they give him this tank shell? We're just going to shot put it like a like a Scottish strongman. Yeah, like, what did they think? Like, obviously, he's stealing that. Mm-hmm. They, well, with that, he shows up in a deuce and a half. So it's not a far leap to be like, oh, he might have something else from World War II that could shoot this. Yeah, for real. Um, But he's got the MREs. He's got the explosives. He's got everything. Mm -hmm. See, he went down a list of um, like uh, uh, like plaster and paste explosives that I don't even recognize a couple of the abbreviations. Yeah. And then they're talking about his fucking wife who left him. And he goes, she asked for the HK-91 back. Oh my god! Which is obviously a wedding ring for these two people. Yeah, it's. I didn't even bother looking it up. I'm like, it's that's all. That's some big assault rifle. I'm sure it's um. It's somewhere in between like an ump or an MP5 and an actual like AR-15. It's like in there somewhere. Okay, but it's very routinely scoped. I only know all of these things because Call of Duty. Yeah, I figured. I for a second I was like, well, is, is that like a that's like a divorce paper or something? <laughs> but no. Yeah, same thing. It's yeah, divorce paper or an assault rifle. I want the ring back. Oh, it's an HK. Well, let, let me pull the bullets out of it <laughs> so that <laughs> you may have it back yeah. safely. Um, there's that at one point uh, before they go back out after mm. Bert gets there, they show Earl and Grady and they're standing there at this, at this table and they're making hot sauce and lettuce sandwiches. I missed that completely they're having a conversation um this actually might have even been as bert was rolling up 
Mm-hmm. They're just standing there, and Earl is spreading hot sauce onto onto buns, and and Grady's just taking apart lettuce. That's like the worst meal prep I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, that sounds that sounds disgusting. Yeah, we're just gonna eat fucking spice salad. Yeah, we're eating spicy salad for dinner. Yeah, and this, this the is the burritos didn't make my asshole hurt enough. This this is just this is just a, a white person burrito. That's, that's all this is. <laughs> this is a burrito for white people. Whoever Julio there, he didn't fucking he didn't leave me enough jalapeno peppers. Uh, we're, just, we're working with the bare minimum here in this weird science trailer. Sriracha and lettuce. Let's mm, go. Um, um, when you can't, when you can't, you that's what you got. Yeah, when you just can't. When you just when there is just no more left in you, mm-hmm. but you gotta have it. That's the closest thing. Hot sauce on lettuce, guys. <sighs> They're trying to blend in with the local they are. cuisine there. <laughs> Probably the hey guys, you know how you had your burritos? Well, try this. <laughs> we call this. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. We call this being poor. We call this all the ingredients to a burrito. <laughs> but for us. <laughs> This is a vegetarian hot sauce sandwich. There's not a fucking lentil in sight, and we like it that way. (laughs) Cheese does uh, not agree with me, so Mm -mm. I add extra hot sauce. (laughs) Um, Of course, Bert also brings an elephant gun. Um, Yep. Again, with the break action guns. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Two bullets is never enough bullets if you're in danger. That thing is swimming around in the dirt. Like a fucking, what's the guy's name from the Michael Phelps? Is that it? Yeah, that's a dude. That's okay. a dude who swims. That's so that's a dude who naturally. Swims. And I don't even like. I don't know if that gun because it looked like, and especially with the power, it fires both rounds at once. Probably it's supposed to have stopping power, so I imagine two bullets is better than one. So you got one chance at this. Yep. Great. Yeah. And you'll notice that he used his one chance to blow a hole in their only escape later. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, right he in does. the fucking truck. He well, he's got he's got good aim. <laughs> he's got good aim. What can I tell you? He's got good aim for fucking sabotage. But uh yeah, there's I, I there's no if it if it's that hard to reload, like you gotta you gotta push a button, break it in half, mm-hmm. put two shells in, mm-hmm. put it back together. It, and that's too much. It is. Just Get a gun that is any other kind of action. I Bolt, pre- yeah. Semi-auto. Belt fed. Even, yeah. Even single fire. Just nah, meh, 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 fine. Yep. You can just still work on that fucking trigger finger I'm, speed. You can hear me making noises. I'm doing hand yeah. motions too. Uh, I just, I just don't. Why would you do that if you were in danger? It's funny that Bert seems to wise up despite being the smartest person about these fucking graboids because he does scream about wanting a belt fed yes, gun later. Yeah. Oh my God. Why didn't you come with that? Why didn't you ask for that? Yeah. He gets, he gets real ornery about the fact that nobody did any research toward these monsters and just jumped right in, uh, naked and cold. To be fair, if I was stuck in the, in the bucket of a bulldozer, surrounded by shriekers i would also be a little bit perturbed yeah you know what i'm kind of i kind of agree with you on there thanks for bringing me into this if, i showed up ready yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah clearly yeah he, he had the forethought to get things that i've never heard of yeah guns that i don't understand the purpose of and do not un- why does this gun exist why do you have this sniper rifle that you're loading a gun and a bullet in through the back i've yeah. never seen that before neither have i uh, so yeah, there should be like a tacit understanding there between two um, ex colleagues mm-hmm. who are very close, obviously. That I come prepared, so do you, mm-hmm. and he didn't get any of that. Yeah, like so good, get mad. In the first movie, you see, you see where Bert lives, and he's got walls of guns. He's got walls of guns and half a graboid on his wall. Yeah, that uh, in the first movie, that thing blows through, mm-hmm. um, and he just kills it. So they they mount it right there. It's a good play. It'll cover the hole up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Just, it fits perfectly. And then I'm. I don't. I like to think the rest of the worm is still there. They just, <laughs> just dangle it out the back of this fucking just garage. Put a, a plaque around it. Yeah, but uh, you know, to teach their own. However you want to picture it, it's, <laughs> that's fine with me. Again with the Looney Tunes. Yeah, with the whole like oh, it's just the head sticking out of the wall, and we just put that, it like it's that's like it's all a trophy folks. around it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like knowing what Bert knows like you would think like hey we should probably also prepare Mm -hmm. for the worst like you're friends with bert that's gotta have rubbed off on you at some point yeah that like you need more than just a couple rc cars yeah 
and some explosives. And that's another thing, too. Like, there's 24 at least of these fucking things. Because that's how many they end up killing, according to Grady, which I don't trust is counting. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, at the end, they're all liquid, so how yeah. would you count that? Although meth heads are really good at numbers. Sure. I still wouldn't I still wouldn't trust them, even if they had a college degree. If- you ever try to fit 24 RC cars into the back of a truck? You can't okay. fit that fucking many. Well, look, that's something I would trust a meth head to do. <laughs> fit them all in there? Yeah, you know how to do it, meth head? Go for it. Yeah, you're um, really good at Tetris when you're high. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I don't think they even had that many cars. That's I, what, yeah. At no point did I see that many cars. No, I saw like six. They didn't bring enough RC cars for this job. No, no, they did not. So what's your backup plan? Bert. Uh, yeah, exactly. You should have just called Bert in to begin with. Yeah, should have. I don't know why you were so hesitant about it. Bert Bert comes in with like a remote control car, arguably, or not <clears throat> not a car, sorry, a tank. Yeah. Remote control tank, arguably the, the, the quietest of anything he could have brought. Surprising, right? Slowest, and it's like got tread, so you just hear the uh, the little like gear motor, electric yeah. motor going. That's all it is. And then he fucking, he snipes, he steals their kill. Yep. Like a, like a horrible teammate. He just comes right in and fucking kill snipes him. Oh, yeah. He blows up a worm uh, and somehow still sees that it had a chain hanging out of its mouth. Yeah. (laughs) Turn the the worm to, uh, I would say, dust, considering (laughs) how loud the explosion was that they heard it across the valley. Yeah, we heard that all the way over here. And he's like, yeah, there's a chain hanging out of its mouth. Where did you see the mouth? Did the mouth land next to you? I can understand the chain being intact, but yeah, where's any part of that worm now? Yeah, I'm I'm guessing he might, maybe it came up, he like spotted the chain hanging out of its mouth. If you even see them, because you, at no point do you see them take the RC car. Yeah. So I don't know how how much exposes out of the dirt from there, but. That's a good question too. You don't really get to see how big these are ever. Regardless, I'm calling bullshit. Yep. I'll call Call it. That's that's the one part of the movie where I was like, wait a minute. You saw that chain. Ju- that's the part. That's, yeah, that's, that's the part. it. That's the part. All right. That's the one part of this movie where I was like, it's hey. not the fucking truck built like a Panzer tank with its back bumper like that. Love that. Love that truck. Yeah. Good truck. It was a nice Solid truck. Solid truck. It was like one of those old school ass. You never see them anymore types. Uh, you know what? I, I, I would say the bumper probably comes off of those trucks being pulled out because they're stuck in something. So there's some resistance there. Whereas this truck, uh, I don't. It wasn't in neutral. It was parked. Well, maybe some wet grass. Wet grass. Wet grass in the Mexican desert. Look, after that, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. Stop poking holes in my movie. Uh, he yeah. Bert also brings uh, 120 pounds of MREs. Yeah. Important to note. Fun. Fun now, thing you should note right MREs, there. those are the food rations, right? Those are the meals that are ready to eat. Yeah. Here's my thing with those. Do they not expand when you add water? Um, Because I was picturing them being like D-rations where like you put water in the shit and it, it's like I, all dehydrated, right? I think some some of those things are. Okay. And then other things are just like in there. All right. I, I'm not sure. I've never actually opened one because the idea seems pretty gross. Yeah. I, I would try one camping. That would be the one I time. Would, I would give it a shot. I would bring those camping in case everything else failed. Yeah. And, I mean, it's like a decent space saver, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, not when you're bringing... If I drop the hot dogs in the swamp, then we're, we're there, breaking there up the MREs. Yeah. You, then you've got 120 fucking pounds. That's too much. It is. It really That's is. too That's, much for anybody. I would hope it's at least different things, but knowing the government, it's probably the same thing over yeah. and over again. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> It's uh, what the fuck? What what do white people really like to eat? I don't know, man. It's it's, it's white chicken breast. Yeah, it is unseasoned. Un- yeah, I was just about to say unseasoned. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Oh my god, you making my mouth water over here? <laughs> turkey, white meat only. Mm, oh, stop it. Uh, Bert finds out four pounds of C four is too much. <laughs> finds um, out the hard way, almost. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that's when he snipes the kill because he finds out four. That's that big explosion. So how the fuck did you see that chain hanging out of its mouth <laughs> when you loaded it full of four pounds of C4? You caused a fucking H-bomb explosion. It's Basically. Not, yeah, there's nothing left of that thing, all right? <laughs> fucking liquid worm. The, the, I'd look, by the way, the sounds these fucking worms make yeah. are my favorite thing. You love it. I love like the chugging, like the... Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Unnecessary, just like car engine won't start sounds. Did you look and see where they uh, got the uh, the shrieker noises I sure did. from? And I think that's why I hate children. To yeah, be honest with you, 
What I don't remember what they mixed it with, but one of the sounds is a crying baby. The other one's a whale sound. A whale and a cry, which you also have a fucking excellent track record for really liking whales. I, I think that there's, there's probably a few more movies I think I've heard that where they like mix a crying baby in there to make you yeah, unsettled. That makes sense. Uh, but you have to have some compassion for children, I think. Oh. <laughs> for it to be effective. Oh, see, it's more like oh, that baby's crying in the movie theater. Let's stop that. <laughs> that that that's more the that's more what I got. My God, turn it off, please. I'm yelling, shut up at the screen. <laughs> shut that fucking baby up. Um, but yeah, the worms begin acting strange, and then mm-hmm. like they follow this worm to a like a secluded area where yeah. worms go to do worm things. I don't know. Yeah, which you, you, fuck you for disturbing this worm's privacy right yeah, now. Yeah, this, this worm is in the most private moment of its life. Yeah, maybe it's trying to shit and piss. You don't know. And they they roll up on it and it just fucking flops onto their truck and basically dies. Yeah. And then uh, I believe at this point, uh, Grady, with the biggest balls of anybody on Earth, I love just her. runs up oh, to it yes. and slaps the shit out of it. Just whop. And you see the thing jiggle and he yeah. fucking tears ass out of there. He meant that slap. Oh, yeah, he did. He he channeled like stuff from his childhood into that <laughs> slap. Just, and, it's, and it's like, hey, he's seen if the worm's okay, too. But no, he's. <laughs> He might have just sucker punched it. Like, yeah. all right there, worm. Just call it a piece of shit to its face. Oh, my God. And he even, like, drives the remote control car up to it and just, like, just like jams it in its <laughs> fucking face. Oh, my God. No respect for these worms, man. Zero. Zero respect for this pre-Cambrian life form. <laughs> They're going out there, right? And the fucking and Earl insists on bringing the whole fucking size majigger with him. Yeah, he hugs it like a fucking. He's he's like, this is the only thing I care about. Yeah, because they're stuck out there now, I, because their truck is obviously incapacitated horribly at this point. Yeah, they backed up off of a cliff when the um, thing flopped on them. So amazing, these fucking people and their ability to just demo their only means of getting out of a dangerous area. Yeah. That's all they do all movie. They do that and they ask real nicely to get eaten by just being on the ground. Oh my God. Well, look. It's, they're clearly safe at home base, where you yeah. can walk on the ground all you like. Yeah, yeah apparently you can, weird enough. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but remember in the 90s when like a TV, the screen was smaller than the box it came in? Yeah. Because that, that took me back to having, I had one at my grandparents' place that was, it was a combination TV and speakers. Oh, yeah. And so it was just a TV, like a fucking 20-inch TV, like a small one. But that whole apparatus was the size of a fucking fireplace. I def- I had one of those TV mantles. Oh, my God. That was like one of the ones where you turn it off and the dot stays lit up for like yeah. half an hour. And yeah. You, you can hear it like powering up. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Like it's got two fucking uh, cages on either side that you open and there's shelving in there. Mine wasn't that big, but mine had like the big fat dial on it that you crank. Yeah. And it had like, a couple of those fuckers. Yep. You, you go from what channel... Zero to three. Yeah. Great. We got and TVO. Oh to God, that ALF is on. TVO, nothing, and global. Great. <laughs> Fuck yes. And then late night showcase. Well, I, this TV didn't. Mm, this, you this, didn't get to see people dry hump on a rough couch? No, this TV literally had dials. It went to 10. <laughs> <laughs> they got the exact same television, but bigger. Yeah. So, like, when the more channels were invented, the owner of that TV was fucked. Yeah. <laughs> There, because it, it it literally did not yeah. go. I it, like it stopped at ten. Fat antenna on the top, mm. and then like when you buy it and you get it into your house, when you move, it stays there. Yes, it does. It's a fixture of the house now. <laughs> yep, uh, this is your problem. Thanks for buying the house off me. <laughs> this comes free. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, so the sick the sick worm chugs on into the night, making awful sounds. Yeah, until it makes the most worst sound that these people have ever heard. Apparently, mm. that this sound was worse than any of the other sounds mm-hmm. that caused him to have to go take a look. <laughs> any of those sounds beforehand were just fine, but this yeah. sound, mm. this sound was bigger. There's than the something other sounds. a little a little off about this sound. Yeah, different. A different I've decided. Sound. Um, so they go and they take a look and the worm is just guts. Yep. Just, and what's going on inside those guts? Just, there's nothing. Emptiness. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, pretty question. Yeah. Um, word I'm trying to find here that I can't. Anyway, bad omen when, uh, <laughs> the giant worm that's killed everybody has a predator 
Mm. Because that's the thought at the time, right? Yeah, like a big old bite got taken out of this guy. Yeah. But, uh, you know, how could something eat something that big in like five minutes? Yeah, I've, unless it was very uh, determined. Well, then Earl, mm-hmm. the genius, was yeah. like, hey, nah. I'm not sure that's what this is. Something came out of this motherfucker. Mm. Uh, and I guess they, they point out that, like, hey, there's like three sacks in there. Yeah. I didn't, I just saw guts. Uh, I think you have to be an expert in order to differentiate between guts and sacks. That, okay, see, that's my problem. I could only see guts. I'm like, yeah. there's guts, there's guts. Where are the sacks? I look inside a worm and it's all Chinese to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should have said Greek. Chinese is racist. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it, I mean, they're both very hard to understand. At least, at least Greek is the fucking, like, the common one. I just, oh, <laughs> my God. Um, I mean, look, I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> Worms are difficult on the inside. Here's my issue as well with this seismometer as he brings it out. Does this got a fucking battery? It must. How's where is it powered? Because it was mounted inside that truck the whole time. Yeah, and it wasn't like, hey, I have this size monitor. Here we're gonna put it in the truck. Watch. It's look in the truck. It's right there. <laughs> so I I don't know how easy that was to remove, but apparently quite. Yeah, yeah. They must have been on a sliding set of like gears. You just pull it yeah. out, and, and uh, it just powers for every he's... Yeah, yeah, it's like a decent, it's it's like an old, old computer. It is, yeah. And he's like hugging the monitor of it. It's a fucking Commodore 64 or whatever. Yeah, uh, and he of course <laughs> makes Grady carry all the guns because... Hilarious. Well, I mean, to be honest, he even said it, this is the only thing I care about. Yeah. So really, Grady, you've made this choice on yourself mm-hmm. to carry the guns. Yeah, so don't bitch. You know what? If, if, I, if, if, say we were up there and you said, I don't care about those guns, I'm taking a gun from me. Yeah. You don't care about the guns? That sucks, dude. Mm-hmm. These are these are guns. Same principle as a condom. We we need... Which is what Bert fucking says, basically. <laughs> Better to ha- n- have it, not need it, than need it, and not have it. Exactly. But if you don't need it, then, I mean, you're kind of on your own. Yeah. I'll shoot as much as I can, but... Some of those bullets are going to be for trying to save my own life. Yeah, you, you, you chose to pick the screen. You live with the screen. Yeah. Bash the monsters with the fucking screen. So in that in that case, since you're going to be all stingy with the bullets, I'm not going to tell you when worms are showing up. That's fine. I think I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have a problem with watching fucking Bugs Bunny roll up on me. Yeah, when I start running like Usain Bolt in order to get the fuck out of here, you're going to be like, "What's up, man?" I'll I, you know That's what? Weird. You carrying that big screen? I'll be ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'll easily lap you on that. Yeah, one. great. Um, so yeah, they, their truck is totaled. This, the worms guts are all over the place. Bert's like something came out of it. Like a, no, Bert's not even there. Earl yeah. says something like, Hey, something came out of it. Like a butterfly. Mm-hmm. Bad analogy. Um, I'm except, wondering if he's not like, it's probably not beautiful. Like a butterfly. Yeah. Yeah. So now if in order for that to be true and Earl, obviously as for a farmer doesn't know his shit. No. Because it doesn't just go worm butterfly from the inside the worm. Yeah. There's a cocoon stage there. Yeah. And we missed that. And and really, this is what I'm saying. It's not at all. Not at all like a butterfly. No. You shouldn't have made that comparison. Yeah. Uh, yeah, something came out, but it's more like um, when you open a bag of tater tots. When you open a bag that doesn't have the little tear off, and so you try to be delicate with it, but it's too much force. Yeah, and then, yeah, the tater tots spill the fuck out. Yeah. yeah that, explode that's, in your face. That's what you got right there. Mm-hmm. Fucking chips or tater tots all over the damn place. He could have been like, it's not as tasty as tater tots, I bet. Boom. We're like, like, we, I just wrote a better movie than this movie. Whoops. Uh, if anybody wants to redo Tremors, we're open yeah. for the script. I got tons of one-liners to go in this fucking shit. Um, so yeah, they they cut to that. They they go. They call some guy named Pedro, who we've never heard of before. I think he's like uh, uh, the like fucking geologist assistant or something. I didn't know who he was either. I, I he's he's got a big truck. That's yeah. all we know. It's funny they call Pedro for his truck. <laughs> Bert's got a deuce and a half. That's true. Drive it out there and get me. Bert's already out there. He's close enough that you can hear his, his explosions yeah. go off. Whereas hey, Bert. Pedro's going to be a couple hours away. Yeah. Uh, Pedro rolls up and... Uh, he doesn't roll up at all. He, gets, he, he rolls pretty close. A mile. I mean, he's close enough you can see the headlights. Yeah. That's walking distance. A mile away. Either way, According he, to the movies, a mile all away. All right, well... Look, I'm going to say two white guys in the dark probably aren't the best measurements. <laughs> they all know how long a football field is. You just count to it. 
I've never been to a. I've I've not been to sports, so I. It's like five hundred yards or something. I only know because Jarhead. Well, I'm gonna tell you, yards again. What's that? Uh, you take a yardstick and you go from one end to the other, and you go. That's a yard. And that's like a, a meter. It's somewhere in between a meter and a foot, I believe. Let's just all do meters. Come on. Here's the thing, though. No. Okay. Well. <laughs> I guess I guess this is why the world's falling apart. It is because they, nobody can determine a unit of measure for the love of fuck's sake. This is what the UN is all about. This is the whole thing they've been trying to figure out is why can't we all just do meters? Gallons are different in the US than they are in Canada. That's not even a different word. At least with meters and feet you're like, "Oh, I'm in a good country or a bad one." Mm. But no, nah, you get gallons or you get gallons. Well, how, how big is that gallon? It's the difference of like 0.65 fucking pounds of oh, water no. or some stupid shit. So there's no there's no way to tell if you're in America or Canada if you're just going by gallons. No, you shouldn't go by gallons. You should, you go, should go by liters because we have all the measuring cups with liters on them. Right, you're right. So you, cups. Just, you just run into a gas station. How how much is gas? And then they tell you like $2 a, a gallon. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I only know the liter math. <laughs> Ah, I've only got enough for three liters of gas, <laughs> which it's from what I understand is not going to get you far. No, it's not. It's bad out there in these streets. <laughs> it's rough out there for these gassies. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So they, they fucking scamper up to Pedro uh, because yeah. they, they see his truck like stop in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Headlights on. Bad omen right there. Really, um, I would be going the opposite direction of that truck once it stopped moving for more than 30 minutes. Yeah, I, I do like that. He's like, uh, great. He's like, oh, maybe he's taking a leak. And then. Uh, yeah, that's a long leak. Yeah, but also, like, he probably could have rolled up and, like, taken that leak there. Yeah. I'm like, hey, guys, I'm here. Hold on, though. Maybe he's incontinent or was. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he's like a rat and he's just got to. He just goes. Maybe he's like me when I'm dehydrated. Every piss is an emergency. <laughs> You gotta drink. You, you drink some more water. Drink. You need another bubbly. I got this bubbly right are, are you, here. Are you man. gonna I'm be drinking okay? It, all right. I don't all want right. my mouth to be paste. Mm. Yeah, me either. Uh, and yeah, so they get there and they just find fucking Pedro's arms gripped to his <laughs> truck, and this upsets Earl. The fastest case of rigor mortis ever. Oh, this yeah. is the thing that upsets. Him. Oh yeah, this is where he goes. Oh, it's a whole new ball game. Is it though? I feel like that's not the first time you've watched somebody be horribly murdered by these things. Yeah, no. And there's a very similar scene in the first one where they roll up on a guy and there's just a hat on the ground. They're like, oh, here's his hat. And they looked up and it's just this horrible screaming face underneath. E exactly. That's worse. Yeah. yeah I'll see hands all day. Oh, yeah. Hands? As long as I don't need to put a face to those hands? No. Oh, I'll throw hands in a bag all day. Especially when I can't find the hands to put a face to them and I can find the face. Oh, oh thank God. It's just hands. Yeah. Whew, I thought I was going to uh, see more than just guts. Yeah. We're good. Um... Yeah, and then I I don't know. Cut to like, what it's like uh, the 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 geologist and mm -hmm. she's trying to figure it out. There's the, all the radios are out, so nobody's coming back. Yeah, it's a whole mess. And this is where we find out what happened to the radios and why. Yeah, it's, it's the, the the there's guts all over the place. It turns out fucking graboids hate five G. Oh boy, five G sets these 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 guys right off. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't get right in my chair here. I need you to get comfortable for this. Is that better or worse? I'm, I'm comfortable. Guys, look, I don't want to alarm you, but it turns out shriekers can see heat. Ooh. Now, should you be alarmed? Yes. Mm -hmm. Your body gives off heat. With that being said, uh, stand near anything even remotely warmer than you, you and then you win. It could get behind the heat. Yeah. You're fine. You're fine. Um, nobody does that in this movie. Pop open a steam pipe anywhere. You're on an oil field. Would there be steam on it? Fuck I, I it. feel like this, this, they probably don't keep steam. There's got to be something steam powered around that shit. Pumps. All right, pumps. Or how about this? You're in an oil field. Poke a hole in that pipe. Light that shit right up. Now you got burning oil forever right there, and you're standing 20 feet away, and you know what your problem's not? Shriekers. My luck is oil wouldn't burn. I it, I, it goddamn very well better if it's going in my see, car. I don't I don't know if it does. It sure does. Is is oil for burning? Do you ever see the videos of the fucking like the Gulf, the oil rigs out there, and they spill oil out all over the ocean? It sits on top of the ocean and catches fire immediately. Is that what that is? Yeah, it is. Oh boy, that's fucking oil, bro. We're in trouble. We are. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so they, they get to the fucking radio station or the radio thing, and yeah. it's all ripped apart, and they're like, oh, shit, things are getting smarter. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. You're just going to leap to that conclusion yeah. because it, it broke a transformer. Yeah. You had a tree do that last week. I did. Trees I really aren't did. that smart. They're really not sentient. No. Uh, tell me trees live in all, it, all you want. I don't think so. Yeah. Ain't never see a tree eat. So. Well, they do it with the light. Sure. So. Sure. You know who could? Um, those fucking weird shrimp at the bottom of the ocean. They can see this insane color spectrum and it, right. it includes infrared. So. Damn. Yeah. To be a shrimp at the bottom of the ocean, am I right? That's not really a trade I'd be willing to make. Hey, man, teach their own. <laughs> teach their fucking own. I'm fucking, I'm down there, and I like I can see super vibrant colors, but I also got to worry about squids all day. That's true. Squids are bastards. Mm-hmm. Uh, for, and I don't know if these things are natural enemies. I just assume that everything under the water wants to kill you. Yeah, they eat each other down there a lot. Yeah, so. there's there's very little law at the bottom of the ocean. I know almost nothing about the ocean, I just realized. Yeah, me either. And <laughs> isn't that horrible? Yeah, it, I gotta it, learn more about that place. Horrible? Got, it's horrifying down there. I got fucking 30,000 fish tattoos, and I don't, I don't know fuck all about squid and what they eat. Um, well, I'll tell I, you. I, I, it's probably pens. <laughs> well, they're full of ink. Well, I mean, you would think. I I think they harvest the squids for the ink, but that's just me. Whatever. Mm. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 they're at the radio station tower, and they're they're getting angry about this because like shit, they're getting smarter. And that's yeah. when something comes around the corner that's very much a CG animated little puppy dog. It sure is hopping along with almost no interaction with the ground whatsoever as it's walking. Hey, it, it's move. It moves sheet metal. It moves a piece of sheet metal. And you know that that was somebody with like a stick around a corner of whatever the fucking radio station thing and just like pokes the sheet metal a little. And then they do everything in post. Oh, you're just, look, you're just crapping all over my... This is the movie. Yeah. This and, is oh, what this has all been about. I was there for it. <laughs> um. So yeah, that comes around the corner and uh, what are they? They just fucking shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> what else would you do? I mean, yeah, no, that's that, what I would do. That, that's the that's the thing. This this is one of the smartest movies where they actually get shit done. Shoot it. Don't look at it. Shoot it. They pop that thing like a pimple, <laughs> and then like three more roll up, and they they take off in a car. I'm a little curious about this. Um, when it comes to fully automatic assault weapons, like you know that barrel gets hot as fuck, right? Oh yeah. At what point does that become shrieker bait? Ooh. You're firing at him, and then oh, what's that that I sense with my heat abilities here? Well, I, I don't think any of the guns that they had would have gotten hot enough. Mm. Like, maybe a belt fed, because mm-hmm. that's a lot of bullets. But I think most guns probably hold, like, 30. All right. You could probably rattle off 30 bullets pretty quickly. All I'm seeing is I've seen miniguns fucking melt. Oh, yeah. Well, those are belt fed. Yeah. So, but, um, yeah, no, like, semi-auto, like, as long as you're just... Mm-hmm. I would say like feathering that trigger. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to hold it down because this is not a cartoon, and you don't want <laughs> to just be firing yeah, yeah. in all directions as the gun, like a fireman's hose, whips you around. Recoil is an important thing to pay attention to in the real world. Mm-hmm. I mean, Bert does tell them about that when he gives them these those garbage elephant guns. Yeah, He's like hey, hold them good because you're gonna break your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Just thanks for the heads up. Give me a different gun then. Yeah, give give me something. Give me a better gun. Give me something I'm not going to be reloading while something's running at me. How about that? Something I don't have to spend 10 seconds making sure I'm properly, like, braced for the impact of a giant weapon. Something where, like, before I pull the trigger, I got to think to myself, hey, is this going to be worth busting my shoulder over? (laughs) Because, like, I'm going to need that shoulder. I got to move next week, so I'm going to have to lift some of these boxes. You know, if you want to run really fast, you have to keep your arms at 90 degrees and pump them. Mm. How are you supposed to do that with a broken shoulder? You're fucked. Graboid yep. meat. That's, that's that's it. That's track and field 101 right there. Um, at some point, I don't know. It cuts to, like, there's so many parts in this where it just cuts to different things. Yeah. And there's also, like, a really bad fade to black around this point. That mm-hmm. doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever because it's not like you're really changing scenes or expressing the passage of time. No. You're just fading to black and then popping up five minutes later. Cut, cut to uh, what's-her-face back at home base being like, why isn't anybody coming back the radio? Mm. Yeah. Uh, and then Julio, like, pops in through the window. like, listen, stuff things Mm -hmm. what i'm saying isn't important because guess what i don't i'm about to get my shin ripped off yeah for violating the ground rule and once again 
for a movie where it's like the most important thing to remember that's iterated 50,000 times is stay off the ground. It's amazing how nobody listens to that. Yeah, no. Uh, well, I mean, he is staying on the ground, but like he even he just gets get got by a shrieker. That's <laughs> that's those them's different rules there. I'm fine. Get but in the window though. Even still, yeah, off the ground. Yeah. Um, just for for good measure. Just because there's shriekers around doesn't mean the worms are gone. Yeah, yeah. You're telling me they're even though they're they're not coming to this area, they're around. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm inside. They burrow faster than I run. Okay, bye. I'll I'll be on top of things if you need me. Yeah. If you need me, I'm on the roof. I I'm friends with this table forever. Yeah, exactly. Um, at some point, and I, I think it's I it, like it comes up a little later after because like who Julio dies. Oh great, his second scene in the movie, he's dead. Yeah. Cool, great. I had no attachment. Pointless to have him in there. Zero yeah, yeah. attachment to Julio. Don't care about Julio. He's cannon fodder Wolf, from the very beginning. Gone. Peace. Um, toward the end of this movie, Earl makes a comment to Kate, and he's like, hey, you seen anybody? Mm-hmm. And she says, you know, not since the monsters showed up. Is she talking about Julio? She's talking about somebody. Because, like, who? Zero, like, empathy in that voice. She's like. None. She makes a joke out of it. And probably pretty, like, the indicative, or at least... As an audience member, I was led to believe that uh, Ortega here got right up off of his ass once his employees started dying and went straight to Earl, like, get down here. Yeah. So, like, a week has passed, maybe. Mm Mm-hmm. Have you seen anybody? I don't know. Check the inside of a worm's stomach. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I'm good, though. I've been hitting that, and now, uh, yeah, now a worm has eaten that. Also fucking so upfront with the, yeah, I used to do porn, basically. Yeah. They've been talking for like two days, and you just drop that information. Well. All uh, right, own it. She's got two things in her life, geology and taking her clothes off. Yeah. You should, there's got to be a way to combine those. Yeah. Um, you yes. Just like spread your <laughs> vagina open, and it's a geode in there. It's like amethyst crystals. That's the best I could think of on the spot, so. And it was bad. Don't look at me like you're so ashamed. <laughs> like I just murdered my firstborn son, okay? I mean, I was picturing it too. That's mm. the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know we pictured the same thing. We did. You described it as soon as I pictured it. It was purple for me. Pur- son of a bitch. Right? How far back were the flaps pulled? No, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. Um, yeah, just, everybody shows up. Everybody comes home. Fucking Julio's dead. Yeah, nobody, he sure is. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> about the man who set up this device that you're yeah. using to find the worms and he is dead they really don't dwell on the fact that he's no longer living do they yeah no, n- we I got mean, bigger fish to fry than this super helpful and important man pedro okay sure <laughs> who we, the fuck's we, pedro anyway we didn't even see his face yeah julio went around and yeah. set up all these sensors. He did, too. And, like, risked his life. That motherfucker's been putting in work since day one. Nobody even tipped a beer ah, for Julio. Whoops. So, he's dead. Yeah. And everybody shows up. And then that's when they figure out, because um, Bert got ambushed as well. There's, like, a scene that they cut out of the movie where he fucking kills all these monsters. Okay. Um, there's like, he unloads all his ammo. He rolled like, Oh, right. Cause he's in the truck there and the shriekers show yeah. up and they surround his fucking truck. Th- that, that's, that was a scene they cut out of the movie where he hauls ass and all these I, monsters. He says fucking, I, one of the fun, like the funniest line in the movie. And I was an idiot and didn't write it down. Uh, I know he, he comes up and he's like, I, for the first time I'm out of ammo. Yeah. That might've been just it. Yeah. It's like, that's the first time this has ever happened. Just fucking like I, I I shot a bunch of them and then a bunch of them I dispatched with hand to hand combat. Yeah, hand to hand techniques. Yeah, fuck, Bert. Yeah, holy you're just shit. strangling these things to death in the cab of a truck. Like I just picture that. Yeah, uh, but no, cut that out of the movie because yeah. uh, the reasoning was they couldn't get the sh- the shriekers to look good. Right. So I'm glad they did because we'd be hearing about it from you. Yeah, you sure would. Fucking, it was it was too dark, so they they just didn't look right. Again, it's Splinter, where the fucking that would be one of the like coolest parts of the movie. You just watch Burt haul ass on like fifteen shriekers. Yeah, and I'm distracted by the fact that like they're melding around his body like the blob. They're just very shiny. Yeah, very shiny in the desert, which makes no sense. Like watching fucking Mandalorian. (laughs) (laughs) Um. So he comes back and he's like, "Look, I captured one." 
And uh, he sure does. Yeah, and there it is. They throw it in a cage. They throw it in a a flimsier cage than a fucking dog cage. Yeah, they do. For like a chihuahua. They forgot like three integral parts to that cage when they put it together. The thing's pissed off in the cage and wiggling around and the entire fucking cage shakes. Oh my God, it wobbles. Not to mention, did you see what they did to the transformer at the radio tower? Metal is not a problem here. Nope. It's eating through that cage right away. They didn't even they didn't even like let the glue set no. on, on the cage. It's just these weld joints would not pass X-ray. No. Nope. Nope. Uh and yeah, so they put it in like the, the flimsiest cardboard cage. And uh and at one point you see Oh, there's another shrieker. Oh shit. Oh noosies. Oh, it falls out from underneath Bert's truck and its little like penis tongues whips around <laughs> until it, it finds something worth eating. Yeah, it does. And it's uh, I think it's an MRE or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I wrote down here that that would explode it if it ate a whole fucking but I was thinking about the dehydrated rations yeah. that you have to water because you're essentially eating like three meals at once otherwise. On honestly he he does though. He says like they're they're dehydrated in the movie. So Maybe it's just one meal rations and those exist. Fine. I, I have no idea. I'm just thinking know. of like, if you ate an entire bag of instant mashed potatoes, you would die. Yeah. Oh, you for would sure. die right away. Oh yeah. Your stomach would explode and you would die like a fucking boomer and left for dead. That's how you'd <laughs> die. Oh my God. And then just people would come running. Cause Oh, fucking mashed potatoes, free mashed potatoes. Yeah. Oh, ketchup's already on them guys. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get them back to the trailer park where people live. Who put ketchup on mashed potatoes? Yep, that's the only place. And if you live elsewhere, well, guess what? Move. I noted right away that the way that these things eat and give birth reminded me of, first of all, Maurice from Freaky Fucking Stories, that oh, maggot yeah. that dissolves food to consume it, and he's just slimy and drooling all the time. I fucking love that. It I got those vibes too, like the puppety yeah. mouth opening. And then when the sacks come off that have the fucking younglings in them, mm -hmm. it reminded me of uh, gremlins after you get the okay. mogwai wet after, like yes. overnight, because they just sort of like pop out of its body in like a glob yeah. that turns into something. I hate that so much. It was amazing. It's like those frogs where like the frogs just come out of its back. Yeah. It's so fucking gross. It is. Um, fun facts, when they shot the, the baby, like, coming out of the sack, mm -hmm. that was, like, a regular-sized one with a huge cage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that makes sense. Good. Yep, yep. Around this time, we find out that these things reproduce asexually. That's not what they say in the movie, though. No, they call them hermaphrodites, which means that they think these graboids are out here fucking themselves. They get so horny when they eat that they fuck a baby into it, and then that comes out. They just fucking gotta get their dick and vagina together so bad. They do. This they, D ration is delicious. Can't keep those things far apart for long. For. No. They go in, and guess what? That's That's got some very incestuous implications, guys. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, yeah, they definitely... <laughs> Definitely use the wrong fucking word. Yeah, they eat food and they turn the food into a, a reproduced, a reproduced version of themselves. It's different yeah. than having both a dick and a puss at once in the same spot. <laughs> Guys, you're a geologist. Hey, do your dick and penis ever, or do your penis and vagina ever touch? <laughs> well, first of all, my dick and penis are one. <laughs> well, does it ever touch your vagina? <laughs> You've got both. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh shit. It's, it's called a paginus. So I wrote down graboids are ground hydras. Ground hydras. Because the hydra is that fucking Greek mythological, like, it's got two heads, and then when you cut one off, two grow in its place. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Um. So yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they little do they know, oh boy, yeah. behind them, in the room behind them is just mm. graboid, or not graboid, sorry. Shriekers. Yeah, okay. Um, Don't misgender these things, okay? Although it's impossible just, because they're both. Yeah, and they go ham on these things. Yeah. They go ham on those uh, rationed foods. Loving it. Throwing, in there. Just eating and throwing up and eating and throwing up. Probably. And uh, yeah, so they obviously multiply to a number you can't count because mm -hmm. there's so many of them running around, but so the, much the, so. The meth head makes his guesstimate. Yeah. And uh, 
And I, that, that's the number they go off of at the end, which is fine, because I'm sure he's counting way too high. It's not like you'd be able to count the fucking, the, the bloody pile of shit that's left over after what they do to that garage. Yeah. No. Don't worry about counting them. We got them. <laughs> yeah, we got all 40,000 of yeah. them. Ortega, did you hear that number? <laughs> 40,000? Yeah. What's that times 50,000? Do you see the goo? Are you going to dispute the goo? Yeah. You think this much goo could fit in less than 40,000 of these things? As a goo and worm expert, I got to say this is exactly 40,000 wor- mm-hmm. worms worth of goo. And you called me in for my expertise. So pay up. Yeah. Just make the entire Mexican government just go bankrupt. <laughs> Not They probably did, given the back of Bert's truck anyway. Oh, my God. Ah, sorry. Whoops. The, the Contras win again. <laughs> I get pissed at this movie around this time. Okay. Okay. So we got shitloads of Shriekers. Shitloads. At this point. And they're, and they're shrieking up a storm. Shrieking it and up. And what they're shrieking for is human, human flesh and, and warmth. They just want a hug, I think. Those fucking poor shriekers. If they didn't look the way they looked, mm-hmm. they'd probably be more huggable. Anyway. You just wrap a free hug sign in cardboard around their necks, and then it's it's game time. You put them on a fucking street corner in New York. Eventually, somebody's gonna be like, huh, "Do it for the vine. Let me yeah. hug this thing." Do it's it gonna for the vine. Bite my fucking head off. Hello, everybody over the age of twenty-five. How was that reference for you? Hey, remember when people used to do things for the vine? Yeah, those were the days. So Bert fucking, and I may be skipping over things, so feel free. But I, I got really pissed okay. off, is all. Yep. Uh, I didn't write anything down until Bert's hiding in a bulldozer, which, fine. Obviously, they can't hear, and they make it clear about that, I guess. Yeah. Um, although I feel like there are some times where they do hear things and then look in a direction, so I don't know. I was confused by that. Yeah. No. Nah. And they also don't have eyes, so they can't see. They go entirely by thermal. Well, they got the, the mushy brain that is revealed by their head flaps. Yeah, which just open open up like a plant, like a poison ivy leaf. Oh, yeah. Or um, what's in the Venus flytrap is what I'm looking for there. Oh, like a, but worse. Like a trap door and a witch underneath it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, so uh, up until that point, uh, that's where they like run out and they're trying to escape from these things. Mm-hmm. They realize that when these things scream, they put off a lot of heat. Yeah. Because Bert's Which like, oh, is... you feel the heat coming off of that? Like a guy <laughs> talking about a dog's a back end. A horse's puss? Y- yeah. <laughs> you feel the, feel the heat coming off that? You can roast a marshmallow. Oh, it's winking and dripping. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, enjoy that. So they, that's not what, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I will not. Um, so... Yeah, they uh, they figure and that, that they, attracts more shriekers too. Then yeah, that's how they communicate. Because oh, cause, fuck, it's hot over there. What's up over there? Yeah. Oh, oh, just screaming. Oh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, ha! I'm in. Um, yeah, yeah. And so they leave because why wouldn't you fucking leave immediately? Yeah. And they go. They go to like get in this truck. Mm-hmm. They round a corner. Fuck! There's a shrieker right there. Oh no! What are we gonna do about that? Bert turns it to liquid. <laughs> Bert pulls out the biggest gun I've ever seen. <laughs> And with the biggest bullet I've yeah. ever seen, he turns that thing to goo. He fixes that problem right away. And uh, because it's a great big bullet, yeah, it goes through everything. It goes through like fucking four sheet metal walls, a, a drum, and the truck. Yeah. Um, and then he goes, whoops. Yeah, big whoops. Yeah, big whoops. Bert. That's probably the biggest whoops because that's the last truck out of here. Yeah, you could have aimed in just a slightly any up, down, any other yeah. angle, and you would have missed the truck completely. How about know how powerful that gun is if you choose to use it? Yeah, and yeah. then just look at your path. Uh, yeah, well, that's an important part of owning a rifle is you gotta before you shoot it, you gotta know what's behind. Sure, you gotta know. Cause well, he doesn't give a fuck about that. Obviously, bullets tend to go through whatever you're shooting them at, unless you're shooting them at dirt. Or a brick wall inside the store you work at. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I, I to be honest, that that wall's made of wood. It's made of wood, and it still stopped the fucking. It must have been a pretty tiny caliber bullet. It's a hollow point. Was it really? Yeah. You just know that. Well, it it like it went in one window out the other, but like it must have. Oh, it split off. Yeah. Okay, I didn't catch that part. Yeah, yeah. But bullets, ballistics, ladies and gentlemen. Um, mm-hmm. You just you just work for CSI now. Yeah, Miami. I'm, I I am the Miami. Mm. 
Uh, and then, yeah, that's when Bert jumps into the the bucket. Yeah. And gets surrounded by leathery, l- slimy penis snakes. Yep. No, that's what they are. They really, they crawl their way up into that bucket and they get it as gooey as possible. Like a real life penis would. Yep. That's um, true. And- I don't know if I would describe the female anatomy as a bucket. <laughs> well, it it's any object that a uh, penis can fit in. They generally wiggle their way in. <laughs> Buckets, cups, jars, oh, man. just a, any sort of sleeve. Love it. Love it. If, if it looks like a penis is going in there, some weirdo guy has put his dick in there. So here's where I get mad. Absolutely. Get, get mad. Get mad. Bert's in the bulldozer. Bert's in the bulldozer. Everybody else is on top of these tanks uh, trying to avoid these shriekers. And here's here's my problem. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember if it was in order to get to the tanks. I believe it was. Or to uh, leave them safely. Uh, but they hide behind doors. I love it. That, that was before they got to the tank. The fucking things are blind. Well, they're, they're, it's to block their heat. The heat wouldn't be behind the door, I guess, right? They got fucking hot, hot hands wrapped around these goddamn doors. You're going to tell me that the door isn't hot and moving if you're sensing heat all over the place? It's been out in the fucking sun forever. Also, if you're trying to avoid detection, choose something that's a little bit larger than three feet wide. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. What if you stumble? Also, this entire time, we're ignoring the fact that there are graboids in the ground. Yeah. Well, where are they? Well, um where are any and all of they? We've we've forgotten about them. Yeah. And we're going to assume that they've all decided to become shriekers. Okay, so they all birthed and died. Because they're supposed to like you know, evolve. Like, oh, they've gotten okay, smarter. Great. So So it's like a fish growing legs and crawling up on yeah, land. Yeah. Words out. The problem is the fish better. are still there. The, the fish are still there might be some fish in the pond still. Okay. So we're just going to forego that. We are. And step Step lively all over the ground, willy nilly like it ain't nothing. Well, well, this is home base. They don't come to home base. They <sighs> they stay up north. Home base is safe. It's like a game of tag. It's exactly a game of tag. I'm furious. Um, well, I'm um, look. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> so yeah, they yeah I did forget that to get when they're like trying to hide, they do get behind some doors and like Ugh. Earl's looking through the peephole. Like, yeah. As, as, as if you can't just fucking poke your shit headed head around. Well, then you'd see the heat. Yeah. Okay. The difference between fucking two inches of finger in a hand and like the top of your head to your eyes. You know, you're, you're really, you're really nitpicking here. I, am I though? <laughs> you're really, you're really pulling this movie apart. Let's use a door. Let's talk about the fact that the bottom of their legs and feet are exposed. No. Because let's, they're let's, not dragging the door across the ground. I don't want to talk about that. You don't that. want to talk about that I either. Want, okay. I don't want to talk about that part. We won't discuss it. No, we it's won't. Fine. We're, we're not going to. No, that's Fucking hottest shoes ever. I've been walking around the desert all day. My shoes are hot. Oh, God. It's all good, though. At this point, the uh, the, the shriekers make my favorite fucking sound. Mm. They're just like, <laughs> and then Bert's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he just loses it on this thing that can't hear. He just gets so pissed. That uh, killed the fucking, uh, by the way, I'm pretty sure that was the elephant gun that did that shit. Yeah. Into the truck. Oh, for sure. Um, you spent the first 25 minutes of this movie blowing these things the fuck up. That elephant gun bullet didn't I that was almost like anticlimactic. They make such a big deal of this elephant gun and it's gonna it's gonna do so it's shit. It, all it does is split it in half. <laughs> it it I mean split it half it turned there was goo. It got pasty, sure, but the explosions were way better. The well when it, when the, the gun goes off, like it the window breaks because of it the does. explosion. Yeah. Which you know how that always happens. I assume it was already broken. Well, yeah, you're in the desert <laughs> at a gas station in Mexico. I think there's going to be a couple broken windows around. In the middle I, of nowhere. I'd be shocked to find a non-broken window. Well, I mean, with these monsters about, yeah. every window should have a crack in Shrieking it. Shrieking like crazy? Yeah, every window should at least be a little broken. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, th- that was probably one of my favorite parts. And it's that, and it's like when Grady says, hey, Earl... Just stay right there. And he, and, or no, he's not talking about race. He's talking to fucking um, the guy in the bucket. Bert. I'm losing my mind over it's here. It's fine. We'll so, get there. Uh, Yeah, when when Bert, he yells at the thing. And then, yeah, Grady's like, hey, just stay right there. And Bert's like, it's a great idea. 
but he says it in such a way that's like, yeah. I have had enough of this fucking kid. <laughs> I've had enough of all of this. I despise you. I was so happy just being yeah. at home watching my war movie and eating my my lonely <laughs> meal for one. Beans probably. Also, um, he, put, he put a lot of energy into that fucking rant about how he's the only one that came prepared for this shit. So, yeah, he's finished. Yeah, absolutely. Even Bert's got a, a rope to reach the end of. <laughs> Oh, my God. And you don't want to be at that end because that guy's got a lot of guns. Yeah. So at this point, he's in the fucking bulldozer. They're on top of the tanks after using doors impossibly to get there. And they really just shoehorn a relationship in that has fucking no effect. I, they waited till 11 minutes till the end of the movie. Yeah. They're just like, all right, make them just get them together. Yeah. Just yeah. They're going to get along into a relationship after the credits roll. Fine. And you know, that was like that was like the girlfriends who got dragged to the theater. Like, yeah. Are they going to get together? <laughs> Fine. Mm-hmm. Fine. We'll give him five minutes of this, of, of dromance here. Yeah. This is where you find out that she's been the poster lady yeah. the whole time. And let me tell you, as somebody who's now a geologist who's accomplished enough to research a species of dinosaur that's yet undiscovered, the last thing I want is uh, for the man I'm telling that I was a pinup girl when I was younger to be like, oh, my favorite one. Oh, oh, yeah. you really... I'm basically coming. <laughs> Fuck you and your rocks. Yeah. Get naked. <laughs> she even gets like on her hands and knees like the picture. Yeah, she which does. Which is like the most degrading thing for a scientist. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. He he knows the fucking year, yeah. the month, the the magazine yeah. which page it was on. <laughs> And he's... because it's the one that he can never get to pull apart when he's done ever. Yeah, that's that's the page you leave open to dry. Yeah. Uh, what's really funny is that this this she's so old. Like, that, that, <laughs> sorry, she's so yeah, much. Just say that she, out she's loud. So much older. Oh my god. Um. So that was it. The seventies or the eighties? I forget how yeah. old. Yeah. I think it was like seventy four, seventy six. You tell me. Like that. You tell me that this pinup was in perfect condition. Yeah. Just in the sun mm-hmm. in this trailer. Also, you ever uh, leave anything out in the sun, it it goes white. I guess this is ninety four, so it's not so bad. I was just trying to think of how young she must have been for that pinup. No, 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 no. And for, it's probably it's probably questionable, man. I, I want she doesn't them to look have, that old. I want them to have done the math. Yeah, they they, they wouldn't have. No, I'm sure they did. Let's not <laughs> let's not think about this. They did the math. They Ugh. had to have. But uh, you tell me that like. In Earl's dirty old trailer, that didn't get sun, it sun bleached. Have. Yeah, no, nah, it's perfect condition. Well, I mean, he probably lacquered it. M- maybe he's got a couple. He's obsessed with this fucking thing. Every year, he re- he just changes it out. Yeah, he replaces it with a new one. <laughs> the, 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 clean the same one. one, but a newer version. Yeah, yeah. He's just going fucking. That's why he lives in the trailer. He's spending all his tremors money on fucking Xerox. <laughs> Every every three to four months, he's got to go and fucking change out the sun baked one with the new one. Yeah, this well the sun well, sun baked and cum baked. Yeah, which inevitably come glazed. I guess man, and that shit was like five feet off the ground. If he's arcing these loads onto that, I'm impressed. At his age, hey, it doesn't come out like a sad trickle. He's he is the poster guy for those commercials where, where it's like I'm a cowboy and I need a catheter. <laughs> It's like the Viagra, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have diabetes. He's got that, like, rough for the weekend pill. Like, yeah, I take this pill, and then I arc one onto that poster. <laughs> That's my weekend. <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell the other people in the mobile home park. <laughs> They'll tell them my story. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so then I immediately realized why you chose this movie on the heels of Splinter as one of the options, because they go, well, I got to get cold. Yes, they do. Let's hit you with a fire extinguisher. Yeah. Have you ever used a fire extinguisher? Uh, yes. Yes, we have. It ain't cold coming out of there. Not anymore. It's not. It's it, dust. There, there's there's two. You there's, can get them still that there, like There's that? different kinds of fire extinguishers. Okay. One one is the dust that smothers it. Yeah. And then one is the CO2, I think, is it like removes the oxygen. How do you, how do you know the difference? Uh, because I bought one that was powder. Yeah. And I was very surprised that it wasn't like a frosty thing because I've seen Tremors. Mm, okay. So you you brought a 1994 reference into your extinguisher buying. Yeah. And subsequently were disappointed by that. I was. I was. Um, but yeah, you, when we when we saw Splinter, I was like, oh, well, this guy clearly saw Tremors. 
This guy, this guy fucking loves tremors. Oh, these things sense heat? Gotta get them cold somehow. Yeah, gotta get, gotta get them nice and chill. You're telling me you don't have just like a bucket of ice kicking around somewhere? Nah, spray me down with this horrible, like, this shit, and when it gets in your eyes, it cakes them shut. Yeah. I'll just make that personal sacrifice while I go in there. Hey, that's, he rock, paper, scissors for it. And you're out in the atmosphere. You're not going to be that cold for that long. Uh, look. Rage. S- stop. Fury. <laughs> um, well, it works. By the way, the infrared in this, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, they filmed it with like a, a high eight camera and just made people wear like red suits. That's funny. And then they just like grayed out everything else. Love it. Yep. That's a, that's a fucking filmmaking hack right there. It is. I it love really it. It really is. I, I love when they can come up with shit like that because yeah. I thought it looked like infrared to me. Yep. I, uh, we've all seen Predator. Oh yeah, that's I, my best guess as to what infrared looks like. I, I bet you, I bet you in that movie, it's just like a multicolored onesie that they're wearing in that. Yeah, um, just change the light levels. So it, yeah, it, at some point they decide that they got to get into this building where all of because they've locked all of the monsters into this building mm-hmm. that's shaking like an earthquake from all the monsters inside y- of it. Yeah, and they they come to realize that oh shit, we've locked them into this shed um, that we've beforehand packed full of candy. Mm-hmm deliciousness in there it's like salt water boxes of salt water taffy just in the middle of the mexican desert yep but we got this we got this shed full of salt water taffy mm-hmm. and like rice flour <laughs> and so which in- i don't understand why rice flour like they say it as if it's like oh that's the thing that's gonna give birth the most for them i bet there was like a scene cut out where they're like give it rice and it just sharts out like a million babies yeah rice flour is like it fucking get, in vitro fertilization where you get seven diarrhea. kids by accident yeah oh you turn into fucking john and k plus eight you're only trying to have twins because you just took too many up there well it's rice flour yeah it's not it's just not natural. too many grains i don't know <laughs> so he gets in there and he gets to the back of bert's truck and you know of course of course it starts melting mm-hmm. why wouldn't it mm-hmm. it wouldn't be so suspenseful if he didn't start melting. Yep. So, gets up on the truck, and then all the monsters go, wait a minute. Mm. It's scream time. Yeah. I forgot about that for a second. Scream yeah. time. Hmm. Yeah. I better make up for lost scream time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As you do. As you do. By screaming. Yeah. Um. And uh, he just grabs something out of the truck. I didn't see what it was, but apparently it was a bomb. Yeah. And he sets a timer. Just a... Uh, arbitrary time Mm -hmm. very let me tell you he has no idea what fucking time he set it for what if it was two seconds whoops yeah you kind of fucked everybody (laughs) because ain't no way anybody's getting away from that on the note of technology as well with this shit i fucking i they don't explain why grady knows how to hotwire a truck that he's never been inside of before but he just knows Mm mm-hmm that must be a maybe the, it's like a cab driver. Yeah, that's that Vegas taxi experience. Yeah, hey, uh, I, I forgot my keys. He's had to, this. yeah. I'm not going home to get my keys. Start a vehicle in order to escape a murder out back of a casino once. Hey, that's Vegas, baby. What mm. happens in Vegas stays in Vegas and then leaks to perfection Nevada. <laughs> so I don't, I, don't, I don't have to tell you. This should be the tagline. <laughs> that's your fucking, that's the tagline for this whole movie right there. Uh, <laughs> fucking Earl. Earl, yeah, yeah, you just arbitrarily like boop, boop, boop. I mean, it does have like a screen on it with numbers that you could see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, he doesn't look at that. He just goes, Mm-mm. oh, boop, 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 boop. It's not pertinent information. What if he didn't even set the bomb? What if he just he just hit the blow up button on the side of the bomb? No, no, he just like just, now. just set numbers, chucked that, it in. That would be worse. Yeah. Yeah, he just he knew how to work the bomb, even though he had no idea what time he was setting it. Yeah. For. Well, there's a bomb in there. I, I stuck a bomb in there. What time did you set it to? I. You know, I don't even hear ticking. <laughs> Should I go back in and look? You better. <laughs> um, For everyone's sake. The, there's he goes he goes to escape because they're trying to like get this hose because mm-hmm. there's a convenient window. Uh, you can lower the hose down. He climbs out, and then he he doesn't have to walk past all the monsters that are trying to kill him. Nope. Um, these monsters don't really do anything once they've realized it that he's a person. Yeah. They just kind of look at him and shriek. Yeah, that's it. It's cool. They don't climb very easily up to him they don't try and rip apart despite the, truck. the fact that they showed spectacular ability to climb everything when they're stacking themselves on top of each other to get on top of the tanks they were hiding they're on. smart they're smart things as soon as they're like it took them 20 minutes to figure that shit out but the yeah. t- a truck or oh, i forget about it dude no no now nah, there's moving parts in that i i don't know i'd like to think that they they started climbing out of spite because uh <laughs> grady makes the point of being like Hey, they can't climb. <laughs> and they're like, wow, wow. These queers in here <laughs> climb much? Ever used some monkey bars before? Immediately. 
just fucking pile on. <clears throat> oh, it's Grady specifically. <laughs> but yeah, he uh, he goes to like swing from a, a light and hilariously <laughs> just fails. He sure does. He fucking like slam right into the wall and tools and shit. Falls right down onto a table. Yeah, okay, good. Oh my god. No, he does both. He yep. does definitely both. Yeah. Um and uh th- by miracle these things again just kind of look at him and scream. They don't yeah. run up to him and rip him apart like they have been doing this whole movie. Mhm. Which is good because it would be a bad movie if the main character died. Fucking like what's his name? Pedro can't even get onto a truck without losing every part of his body below the wrist. Yep. And uh, but Fred Ward, he gets will just fucking waltz on. They re- they respect him by this point. Yeah. At this point, yeah. They've killed enough. And they're like, oh, you know what, man? Props. Yeah. You know what? You got you set that bomb. Game recognizes Shit. game. Shit. You got me. You got what? me. All right. Fair enough. Get Looks out of here. like Rock actually does crush paper. <laughs> Huh, yeah, um, and then uh, they, they pull him out um, because mm-hmm. Fred Ward, uh, he's not heavy. No. they uh, All it takes is Grady pulling and Kate winding herself <sighs> in, in the in the thing. Would you think that would you think that would hinder her more being no. tied up like that? No. No. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's She's fine. used to it. Oh, pinup girl. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because uh, all pinup girls are immediately bondage. Yeah. There you go. Uh, You're going to get there eventually. Yeah, we were. And I just wanted to just throw it into fifth gear, sixth gear. I don't yeah. Know. Which, what makes cargo fast? I both. Okay, good. Both of them. I threw it. In, I, I did sixth and then you I went just to just fifth. like jacking back and forth. Exactly. Yeah. Which is, it's, it's, it's basically nitro. It's a nitro boost. Yeah, yeah, right, right. You're like charging it up and then you hit the NOS button. I don't have a good understanding. I watched, I watched, uh, Gone in 60 seconds one time. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. It is. It's better than Fast and Furious. I would agree wholeheartedly Absolutely. with that assessment. Uh, I was going to say Fast and Furious, but fuck that movie. Here's the thing. If I want to watch Planet of the Apes, I want them to at least be Harry. Vin. Ooh. Ooh. And you, you know Vin is a, he's, he's a big supporter of the cast, so mm-hmm. fuck. Sorry, Vinny. Uh, and then this movie, this movie ends with Bert just running. Yeah. Uh, so the fucking shed explodes. And then they they crack jokes like they weren't almost just murdered for like a week straight. Yeah. And they have no interest in quickly leaving the area where there's still ground worms. You, no, no. Um, Not to mention that thing from before gave birth with no prompting whatsoever. Who knows that whether or not there's you, you just assume you got them all taking a lot of cavalier chances. We are. And um, this is what gives us Tremors three. Yeah. These mistakes. Cav- these cavalier chances. Yeah. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed um, people not realizing how prepared Bert was. Yeah. When they thought that, like, getting to the one side of that building was good. And he's like, and they just, Bert just keeps running. Mm hmm. Like, oh, yeah, okay. No, we're going to keep going here. It's like that shirt when it's like, I'm a bomb technician. If you see me running, keep up. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck. I want to be a bomb technician just so I can wear that shirt. Oh, yeah. There was also the part of this movie where they think they're safe and they, like, run into the building and they realize that it's just, like, a wall. (laughs) <laughs> it's just a hap- yeah, I forgot yeah, about yeah. that. That's in there It's somewhere. just like being built. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, thank God. And they look around and it's like, oh, it's just a wall. Although they uh, ostensibly could have just moved in and lived there with just the wall forever, given how easily you can hide behind a door from these things. Well, yeah. You stay on the other side of that wall, you're yeah. good. You yeah. just... That's bigger than a door. Takes a little finagling, but you could set up and probably live there for. They should have just picked up fucking two sheets of drywall and use that instead. They really sh- They ought to. They ought to just have walked away. <laughs> Which you could have done, clearly. Yeah. Oh, my God. They were ready to leave without blowing them up the first time when the, the then they found that the truck yeah. was... Yeah. All right. Well, Here we are. Now now you're the one getting disappointed with your thoughts. Well, I don't want to look too much into it because yeah. I, this movie is uh, this movie's my childhood right here. <laughs> um, and uh, you know what? I Even though even though it's a bad... Like, it's not a bad movie. No. It needs to be judged based on its own merit. It does. I will say that no white people die in this movie. Hmm. How many black people are in this movie? There aren't many. Mm-hmm. Only Mexicans die is what you're saying? That is indeed the point I would like to point out mm-hmm. to you um, so that you know that. I do. Yeah. Uh, as well, um, there were two designs for the Shrieker. Okay. One was the Shrieker. The other one was used for a bug in Starship Troopers. I did read that one as well, which is yeah. very interesting. 
I, it makes me want to look it up to see what it is. I kind of want to watch the movie, but at the same time, like, I saw Lost in Space. Is it going to be that much different? I have no idea. Uh, it's fucking, I hear the words stars and ship, and I assume it's all fucking Star Trek anyway. Yeah, you're not, re- they're all, every, it, a lot of these movies seem to be just trying to make fun of Star Trek. Yeah. What was the one with Tim Allen? <coughs> no. <laughs> I think that's what it was. <laughs> See, that's a cough from Coke, because before he became famous, he got, he went to jail for smuggling Coke across the U.S. He, border. He sure did. Um, I I don't know space balls. I'm just everything space balls where I'm from. So I don't know. I don't. It, it's got not to, because it's good. I fucking hate that movie, but it's got um, Snape in it. It's got Alan Rickman in there. Yeah, Alan I have Rick- no idea. Alan Rickman's an alien in that movie. Couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you either. Good. I, this is the problem. It could be Starship Troopers. <laughs> I have no it fucking idea. Could be Spaceballs. It, on, it could be any of the, It could be. Yeah. It could be full on Star Trek. Who gives a shit? <laughs> um. So yeah, that's that's the movie. They, and I wrote down the. Uh, I wrote down a summary. Okay. For it. And oh, it's, we, yeah, we going to be. We totally rolled into this without yeah, doing a summary. There's going to be more context now, though. All right. An ostrich farmer and his unhinged friend with PTSD find out how terrifying it is to be non-binary. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Here we are. Yeah. Here. Here we are. Um, I don't, I haven't made like a trans joke in like fucking four podcasts. Sorry. I got to keep up. I mean, it's not even a joke. You're just, I mean, you're just spitting facts here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't have, I don't have a summary. That's probably going to be better than that. Okay, good. Uh, I just fucking I was very proud of that one. And it's good. I mean, all I got to say is Fred Ward gets worms, man. <laughs> he's got them. He's going to have them. Oh and, uh, not only does he get them, he gets them. <laughs> Fuck. The English uh, language. Out of out of out of ten, what are you giving it? I gotta say, like I was entertained by it, so it's not gonna get a low score from me. Yes. But with the CGI and the things that pissed me off, six point five for this one. Six point five. Yeah. Okay. Um I'm 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 gonna go eight and a half. Oh my god, <laughs> uh, it's right up there for you. Nostalgia. Holy fuck, that's a powerful tool, huh? Got a, I got a good amount of laughs. Yeah. Love Bert. The explosion at the end is far bigger than any explosion has ever needed to be. And I don't know, like, why they got the fucking the, the fucking same thing they dropped on Hiroshima just for the yeah. end of this movie. Like the next closest thing would have been like an actual wartime explosion bomb yeah. going off. They leave a huge hole in the middle of Mexico. Yeah, fuck that oil field. After all, you should have just done that from the start. Then. Yeah, and considering the size of the explosion, how did that not light on like the oil field on yeah. fire? We're not going to think about that. This is a great movie. Uh, <laughs> nine, not even nine, eight and a half. Yeah. Nine, nine would have been good CG. Yeah. Nine would have been a little scarier. Yeah. But uh, um, instead of not at all, instead of like the fucking goofiest fucking music during the action scenes. You, uh, you're telling me you didn't get one spook. I didn't know. No, not a one. Not, not even like a startle. No. Okay. Ground nerve, worms, man. I don't know. Nerves of steel over here. You know, I don't. Nerves of steel. That's the best part. All right. Well, I I mean, for horror comedy, it's good. I don't want to. I don't want to do Sharknado. So don't bring uh, don't bring that up in here. Did you bring me Sharknado? Not this time. Okay. Okay. But maybe. Uh, well, look. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. I, I there's did, a couple that really blur the line. I did this to you. Yeah. If you're gonna do Sharknado, just do it to me, man. Mm-hmm. Not this time. Okay. All right. I gotta wait. We gotta get into like weather or something. Okay. Okay. All okay. Right. So since it's my turn to choose a movie, I went with two this time. Okay. Because I'm excited about both. There's one that I want you to pick over the other, but I'm not gonna tell you which. It was gonna be three, but because you brought up the descent last week, I'm gonna wait. Okay. On that one. Okay. Because I feel like it's a cop out, but that's just me. So I really focused on um, the fact that things uh, there's there's monsters underground and that they eat people. Oh boy! So you have a choice between uh, things that come up from the ground to eat people, or people who go under the ground and get eaten by things. <laughs> oh man. There's, I think I know one of these, and I kind, I am, I'm hoping that's the good one. Mm-hmm. Um, I would very much like to watch a movie where things come up from the ground to eat people. We're gonna be watching Chud this week. I knew it. Yes, I knew it. Good. That's what I wanted, and that's what I got. It is. This it's... is a Big Mac meal with everything on it. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. The other one was Resident Evil. 
okay, they do go underground, don't they? Yep. Yeah, and they then, do. And then, you know, it's like they come back up, but they, they start do. underground. They do. I, To be honest, I haven't seen that movie. I wouldn't... I guess, you know what? Mm-hmm. I'd say it's a horror movie. Which? A Resident oh, Evil. Oh, for fuck yeah. The zombies. Yeah, yeah. I. It's been a while since I've seen it, and I just... I guess I considered it more of an action movie. I but... understand, because Mila Jovovich jumps off a wall to kick a dog in the face. Yeah, she does. But there's also really gross zombies. Yeah, like, get, a lot of them. The games themselves, pretty scary, so... Yep. I'll give you that. Um, But cool. Chud. Chud. Cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm excited. They come out of the sewer, don't they? I believe they do. Yes, awesome. and occasionally return to the sewer. You get to see both sewer life, best baby. of both worlds. Sewer life. It's also from fucking 1982, so you're, we're in for a treat. I love the 80s. Yeah, great, great time for puppets. <laughs> it sure was. Ah, huh, well, uh, that's the podcast. Tremors two aftershocks. Yeah. You didn't even need to see Tremors 1. Um, no, uh, there was the only thing that you would have missed out on is Kevin Bacon's uh, somewhat young face. Mm-hmm. Although Kevin Bacon is like the opposite of Keanu Reeves, where even when he was young, he looks old. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. <laughs> um, I mean, we're going to do Tremors 1 eventually. Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'm going to trick you right into it's it. It's been a fucking for a coon's age since I've seen that. Such a good movie. So fine. Ah, they're all good movies. Every single one of them. I'm not going to watch the newer ones, but they're all great. <laughs> there's one from, like, five years ago. Mm-hmm. And there's one with uh, with Napoleon Dynamite in it. You know how I know? Because Bert's in it. Yeah, he is. Oh, my God. That guy's true to the fucking craft. He He's going to be in those movies until he dies. He might be. And then they're going to they, they're gonna have to make, like, real deep fakes of him. <laughs> They're gonna they're gonna go Stranger Things and give him my slap knowledge face on a person. Give him my knowledge of deep fakes. I'm not sure his his spirit would want to be involved in that. You know, when you die, you don't get much choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do with your face what I want. <laughs> you, do, you th- do you think Jimi Hendrix wanted to be a hologram? Yeah, I don't think so. Or Tupac? Oh yeah, that's who yeah. it was. Ah, people. I think they both were. It's fine. Who I don't know. I, at this point, I don't care about anything. No, I get it. Especially not holograms. Well, you got any got anything you want to end the, the podcast with? Darkrosecult.com. Follow the Instagram that Matt apparently made without my knowledge. I made it.